Welcome everyone! It's time to do another stream! I hope you're all excited for this. I know I am. So, recently I did Lugia, and then I also did ho -Oh. So it felt like I should round out the three like main legendaries of the game and do Celebi as well. I know this one is technically a different category because it's not a box art legendary, it's a mythical. But, yeah, it seems like a... Uh, Seems like it's about time. By the way, my last Celebi video was the last time that I did a playthrough of Pokemon Crystal on three times speed. So, I need to re-rank it so that I can get some results on four times speed. You might think, why not just uh, do some little math and multiplication? Doesn't exactly work like that. Plus, in my, uh, in my previous run, I played absolutely terribly. Just go and scrub through that video, like go and scrub through the video and just think about it for a moment. I kept confusion way too long. So, yeah, it's going to be fun to redo this one today. Um, in terms of tier list placement, I actually think that Celebi is going to get a quite outstanding result. I don't think it's going to be quite good enough to sneak into the S tier, although if it did, I wouldn't be surprised, but I can see it sitting at the top of the A tier. So it would need a time under an hour and 30 minutes to be able to squeeze, uh, yeah, to be able to get into the A tier. Uh, if it gets under an hour and 25 minutes, it's going to get into the S tier. Now, uh, S tier Pokemon, I just want to make a quick note because we got an, a sub 120 time with Ho-Oh when I did it last in my last stream. This playthrough with Ho-Oh uh, probably means we need an S plus tier for Pokemon under an hour and 20 minutes. Or we need to reshuffle all of the other tiers. So potentially move Mistrovus into the Bruno tier and then like the E tier becomes the F tier and so on until uh, Dragonite and Lugia get demoted to the A tier and then Ho-Oh stays in the S tier. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet because I have figured out a few more optimizations that I can do for every playthrough and this might actually allow more Pokemon even uh, than before to sneak into the S tier as well as uh, the sub 120 time like ho -Oh. Okay, so let's talk about Celebi. This thing has, it's a mythical Pokemon, so it has completely even base stats, 100 in everything. I think the thing that is most surprisingly surprising to me about mythical Pokemon is the fact that they have a medium slow growth rate, which is undoubtedly the best growth rate in Pokemon games, at least in Generation 1 and 2, before they introduced the erratic and fluctuating uh, experience curves. Medium Slow levels up faster than every other growth rate until level 30, and by that point, the early game of the playthrough is basically over, so yeah. Um, the Pokemon gets a huge lead by that point, and even fast growth rate Pokemon, I think, struggle to compete. Um... Yeah, let's talk about the starting uh, move pool. Leech Seed, Confusion, Recover, and Heal Bell, which is pretty good. Like, you can kind of you can kind of deal with everything with that. The real problem is that we don't get any Psychic moves through level up. We do get Ancient Power, which is kind of weird. Why does Celebi get a Rock move? I don't know. Luckily, through TMs and HMs, we do get access to Psychic, but that's going to come as late as Kanto. So I have to beat the whole league with only Confusion. Ah, uh, that's basically going to be my only stab move. Giga Drain is in Kanto. Solar Beam is after Claire. So yeah, we're going to be using a lot of Ancient Power. We're also going to be using a lot of Swift. And we are going to be using Hidden Power in this playthrough. So today, Celebi is going to have Hidden Power Ice. 
I need something to kind of help me deal with uh, Steelix. I don't want Hidden Power Fire because I also want to deal with dragons more easily. Um, and then I have Ancient Power for Flying Types and Fire Types. Um, I did consider Hidden Power Ground and I also considered um, Hidden Power Rock. But Hidden Power Ice has significantly better uh, HP DV, whereas Hidden Power Ground has uh, not very good HP DV. If you didn't know, the HP DV is calculated based on all of your other DVs. Future Sight is at least an interesting... Uh, yeah, it's an interesting move, but I don't think I'm going to be using it. The, ha the fact that you have to wait for it to deal damage is just so bad. Yeah, I could run Hidden Power Psychic for better stab, but I don't think I really need it, honestly. I think I should be fine like this. Austin, how's your voice doing, Scott? It's okay. My voice is... You'll notice it's a bit tired today. Um, yeah. It's really tough. I want to do social things and also record content, but... Apparently, when I do social things, then my voice gets shot. Because I also have to make content. And I also want to make more videos. So, uh, I don't know. I gotta do what I gotta do. I have a session with a vocal coach this week so that's gonna be good the doctor did say everything's fine with my voice so it's not like there's lasting damage it's just fatigued okay i've gone over everything if you're asking a question that has already been answered in this portion of the stream i will not be answering it just in case people are uh coming in uh, watching the VOD later on, that sort of thing. You want an unbroken experience. Yeah. So let's get into this and do a playthrough of Pokemon Crystal with Celebi to re-rank it in my tier list. All right. Here we go. I'm going to add my name to like the default names here that show up when you uh, select your character name. I have that in yellow version, but it it's just taken me a little while to add it in Crystal. I had an older ROM for Crystal that used to do it, but I've stopped using that ROM because I've had a few other changes that we made in the ROM. Okay, so we obviously have replaced... Oops, I gotta say yes to him. We obviously replaced uh, Chikorita because we want him to pick um, Cyndaquil so that he has a type advantage over us. We're going to give a one-character nickname. Celebi's uh, like, little icon is weird. It's like the Mr. Mime psychic icon, which I do not like. Are the credits adjusted? We adjust the credits once a week. So... You will see at the end of this stream, and then you'll see at the end of the video on the weekend. Brian, it's good to be live. I, I'm i really happy to be doing another playthrough. I'm also really enjoying Crystal version right now. Um, it's a lot of fun. Also, just the fact that I'm a medium slow growth rate is... Like, you can notice it already. I'm almost level 7, and I'm just knocked out, like, three wild Pokemon going to Mr. Pokemon's house. Um, if I was a slow growth rate, I would probably still be level 5, maybe just over the threshold to level 6. Am I text speed wrong? It seems so slow. I'm gonna have to restart if my text speed's wrong. I will check. Maybe it's correct, and I'm just, like, thinking fast. Yeah, it's correct. Like, when I'm really tired, the text feels like it scrolls faster, and when I'm really, like, on the ball, it feels like the text is uh, scrolling at the appropriate speed. Or sometimes slow, like today. Johto's not that hostile to grass types. I don't think it's that bad. Okay, two shot the Cyndaquil. Level 8 now. It's over a damage rounding threshold. In case you're keeping track. Gotta name him Triple Question Mark. It's the only appropriate name for the rival.
Okay, here we go. Say that. Say no to that guy. It was mentioned on the previous stream that when you say no to him, it's basically telling him that his only task in life is uh is not something that we need. That's pretty fair. We don't need to be shown how to catch Pokemon. Why would you catch Pokemon? Well, for HMs, I guess. Curious how you choose what Pokemon to make videos on. Um, I basically, this year is, I have selected Pokemon based on what I think makes the best, like, shape for the year. So if I think about, like, if I think about, like, my entire year and all the videos that I'm releasing, I think about it like a, like a season of television that has, like, 120 episodes in it. So, like, what builds to, like, the best climax by the end of the year? So then I plan out Pokemon based on that. So, like, maybe some slightly more, like, fillery or less interesting Pokemon early on in the year. Uh, I don't even need this. And then, like, as the year goes on, um, more and more and more exciting Pokemon building to an epic finale. How do I decide which Pokemon to stream? I basically stream... I try and stream, like, Pokemon that are in some way thematically related, close to each other, so we can kind of follow a theme. And I also want to stream Pokemon that I've already played as... Um, already played as fully produced videos, because I don't want to make, like, five fully produced videos on the same Pokemon. Like, that is a lot of effort. So, in this case... I'd already made Lugia, Ho-Oh, and Celebi videos, but I wanted to re-rank them, get better results, so that they can be more accurately placed. So might as well stream them. Okay, so we made it through all of this. We're going to catch a Bellsprout, and then we will head into Violet City. What's my favorite thing about Crystal? As a kid, the moving sprites, the fact that the sprites moved, I remember as, like, it just blew my mind because all the games before it, there was no moving sprites. Then to see the sprites move, I was just like, oh my, what? Like, how is that possible? It looks so good. Like, it has so much life. Uh, but when you play with animations turned off, it also unanimates the sprites. Oh, uh, come on. <laughs> come on, Bellsprout. Are you kidding? Am I going to have to go buy Pokeballs? Oh, this is terrible. I'm going to one-hit it with confusion. Yes! Yes! Nice. Bellsprout has the nicest Pokedex number. Okay, so now we're just going to go to Faulkner's Gym and skip Sprout Tower altogether, because, by the way, it is an optional area in the game, and the reason that I've been doing it is because, like, I was doing it a lot, and then I was like, well, I should probably do it for fairness, and then, like, eventually I started thinking about all these things, and I was like, okay... What if we just cut Sprout Tower entirely and actually tried to optimize these things? I, well, I would have to learn all of the dark areas by heart on four times speed. So yeah, today we're going to try that for the first time and hopefully it's not going to fail. Okay, Faulkner, here we go. Uh, it's not going to use Mud Slap. I also one-shot the first Pidgey over a damage running threshold for the Pidgeotto. I could fuse with confusion. Okay, it hits me with Gust, but doesn't matter when I knock it out. So... That is an easy first win. Uh, I get the Zephyr Badge with it a 12.5% boost to my attack stat, and I also get the Mud Slap TM, which I'm going to teach right away to Celebi in the place of Heal Bell. If you can forex speed Marty Morty's gym, you can forex speed Dark Cave, no problem. Yeah, it's a little bit harder in the caves because you can't see the edges, but I practiced it for like probably an hour before the stream, so I should be good. I'm hoping I'm good. This guy gives a uh, the miracle seed, which unfortunately is not very useful until we get Giga Drain. I don't even know if I'm gonna use it at all in this playthrough. When will you use Mudslap? I don't remember any dark Pokemon anytime soon. Uh, Mudslap's good against fire types and in case you need to lower accuracy. Might as well just have it. Better to have an alternate for confusion so you don't have to just constantly use the same move. Uh, we're going to skip some trainers now because we are a medium slow growth rate.
In here I'm going to get Swift. It means unfortunately my Repel will not last me the entire way. Please. Oh, I got by him. Sweet. Might as well get the potion. Okay, please don't catch me, buddy. Ah! Here's a reason. And confusion is resisted here. Uh, I'll just do Leech Seed, because then I'll retain my full health. Oh, that would have been nice if that knocked out, but fine. Alright, Larry's done. Get the Swift TM. Teach Swift. In the place of Leech Seed. Continue. It's good to have you here. anti valuian Oh, gosh, I don't know if I can say that. That's tricky. By the way, today we are joined with... There are two cats with me. They're both very cute. In the Del Caddy video this weekend, you're going to meet my cat for the first time. He's excited to meet all of you. And if everything goes according to plan, we're probably also going to adopt the other cat that we have right now. They're getting along really well, and... They're really sweet, so might as well. By the way, full heal right there. So I was getting the uh, Paralyze Heal in Sprout Tower in case the Paris paralyzes me inside of Bugsy's Gym. But now I can just grab the full heal from there so then I don't have to go to Sprout Tower. Uh, one cat, cat's nose is black and the other cat's nose is uh, pink. I'll, I'll pet the cats. Name reveal in the Del Caddy video. Your favorite track from Johto? I don't know. There's lots of good tracks from Johto. Probably probably the Rocket Battle theme. That's it's just so good. Michael, I think that Selby's gonna get like top of the A tier. Maybe end of the S tier, but we're gonna see. It's doing quite well. So Kurt heals you there, that's why I skipped the Pokemon Center. Welcome to Venomat, Erratic. Del Caddy video on Saturday. Technically, it's like basically done already, but it'll be on Saturday. Okay, uh, I think confusion. Uh, okay, we didn't get paralyzed. That's good. Come on. Okay, Bugsy time. We have recover. We should be good, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully I can three hit the Scyther. Oh, I don't two hit. All right, two hit the Metapod. That's not great. Three hit the Scyther? Yeah, I'm going to three hit. Oh, I confused too. Easy. Oh my gosh, Erratic. Thank you so much. Also, everyone who gets one of those memberships, that's 50 memberships. Like, what? I can't believe that. Sorry, I'm just like about to like break down right here. That is so generous. Everyone is going to have a membership now. And uh, if you do have a membership, check out my Fire Red videos because there are four, of, there are three of them currently. And uh, on Friday, there is going to be a fourth. So all of you will get to see it. So thank you so much, Erratic. Okay. Uh, I was hoping that I was going to two hit the Quilava. No, 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 no. Maybe Mud Slap would be better first turn there and then two hit with Confusion after that. Lower its accuracy just a little bit. Okay, we get Ancient Power now. Um, probably in the place of Recover. Like, Recover was not very useful with, uh, um, ho -Oh and Lugia. So, we're just gonna do that. And I think that was one of the main mistakes that I made in my former Celebi playthrough. I tried to hang on to Heal Bell and, uh, Leech Seed and Recover for way too long, because they're so useful in Generation 1. But in Generation 2, they're not nearly as useful. So Celebi can't actually learn Headbutt, which is kind of wild. Um, most Pokemon can learn Headbutt. Another full restore here, just in case. I will skip the Super Potion, because there's one in the underground, and I can just save, like, maybe, like, 10-15 seconds by doing that. There's an Aether here, which I'm gonna get. Now we're through. Obviously don't need Sweet Scent. I'll, get, I'll fight this guy.
I want my waypoint set to there. But I don't want to heal yet, because uh, I have enough PP to get through all of these Pokemon. Super effective damage on the Grimers. Ancient power now for Pokemon that resist psychic moves. Swift as well. I'm gonna I've been fighting that uh I've been fighting that trainer, the Alicatung trainer, whenever I can. But I think it just makes sense to skip him most of the time. I think I like fighting these people earlier on. Um it gives you just a little bit more uh power throughout the early game, and then hopefully prevents some resets by doing that. Like if I'm just one hitting anyways here, so if I did this later on in the game, it would be the same speed. Okay. Clear the underground. Let's go. Get ourselves an Abra. Is medium slow good? Yes, it's the best growth rate. Gotta get Kenya. Oh, he got me. So there's the Magmar guy that's uh, ahead, but Ancient Power will be useful against him. I'll probably end up using a potion. I don't want to fight him right away just in case he fire punches and burns me. The fire punch into burn is pretty br brutal. Yeah. Got him. By the way, if you get the knockout in Generation 2, the move's secondary effect cannot trigger. Meaning, uh, if you knock the opposing Pokemon out, what will happen uh, is that you will not actually be able to get the boost with uh, Ancient Power. The Yeast, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. The support means the world to me, and it allows me to do this, so... Thank you, everyone. Yeah, like, medium slow is actually faster to level up until level 68 when compared to medium fast. And it's obviously faster than the slow growth rate. The only one that is better in the, like, mid to late game is the fast growth rate, but medium slow is faster in the early game. And I think the early game is very important to gain, like, a, a large amount of momentum. Okay, let's do this. Whitney could be challenging. Hopefully we one hit. Okay, that's not a one hit. Um, that's a two hit on the Clefairy. Luckily she didn't perish song. Okay, I'm going to three hit the mill tank, so I should be fine. Done. Vlado Blanco. Welcome to Veranat. It's good to have you on board. A TAS of Gen 1 would be possible with every Pokemon. Yeah. I've thought about doing a TAS, but I I like, I, I genuinely like just playing the game. And like a TAS is just like, you're not really playing. Like, you just set things up so that it's perfect and then talk through it. And it's like, in Gen 1, a TAS is not as interesting either. Because it's like, oh, we'll just crit here and we'll just like Gen 1 miss here. And like, I don't know, that doesn't seem like super interesting to me. I like this feeling like a competitive format where I'm like always trying to get the fastest possible time. So this, since this is a second playthrough, I'm just going to run away from the pseudo Wudo. We'll go through here. If I go into that route, then it resets the day. Gives me uh, Arthur here. Arthur has the hard stone, which is going to boost the power of ancient power by 10%, which is nice. Well, not quite nice in this case. Oh, I almost said, please don't get an encounter, because there's only two patches of grass I had to go through. Okay. I've forgotten Surf recently, so we're not going to forget Surf today. The Flareon is easier to fight first because I have Ancient Power to one-hit it, and then I level up over a damage running threshold, get more damage for the next Pokemon. This one is Espeon, so I'm going to use uh, Ancient Power. Actually, I'll use Swift. Swift has slightly more damage. Even uh, 
even with the the boost from the hardstone. Uh, definitely, definitely do not use confusion on the Umbreon. Vaporeon is such a tank. Oh my gosh, that thing. Okay, we beat the Kimono Girls. Uh, we're gonna get Hidden Power next. Oh, I need I need a Repel. I was like, I don't need Flash. And of course, I don't need Flash, but I do need a Repel. Nice. Didn't get caught by the Spinning Guy, the Spinning Diglett Guy. I don't know what his name is. Spinning Diglett Guy. That's his name. Oh, I paused there by the uh, Lickitung guy. Gotta be careful. I want to dodge that guy. I will do a second repel here. There are three good items up here. A rare candy, an elixir, and then hidden power. The elixir you can skip, but uh, I, I don't think I'm going to skip it today. Scott, what's your favorite build in StarCraft 2? Does everyone remember the Sandgate? Ah, uh, I won so many games with that build. I'm so dirty. I'm so sorry, everyone. Ah, <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, we're going to teach this in the place of Mudslap. Turns out I didn't really need Mudslap. Will I get the hidden PP up? The one we found last time? I don't think so. Like, I don't re- Maybe I- No, maybe for Ancient Power. Yeah, I should probably get it. Yeah, we'll get the hidden PP up today. Two Hatch Muta. No! Muta builds. I had nightmares about Muta builds. When I was playing actively. So scary. Just fly in your base and you lose. No! One, one step too soon. Do I see any train, trends as to which generation is the most popular? Yeah, generation one is the most popular by far. I haven't done any shiny hunting. The only game I shiny hunted in was uh, Sun and Moon. Okay. Like, okay, so here's the thing about Morty. Why wouldn't you just do the lighthouse first? Like, if you're going to get the mint berry, just walk down slightly south get all this experience first, make Morty way easier in the process. Um, oh my gosh, that didn't want hit. Well. Like, I could fight more trainers, but we're going to skip as many as are possible. I gotta remember to drink water during certain battles so my voice stays okay. <laughs> A horse tier list called Scott's Trots? That's funny! Oh gosh, should do that on April Fools next year. Talk to Jasmine. So she asked for this. We'll fight uh, Dennis, because we have to. Oh yeah, fighting Dennis is gonna cost what? maybe 30 seconds, 20 seconds. Um, doing Sprout Tower saves at minimum, minimum, one hour, uh, one minute and 30 seconds. Potentially it saves more if the Pokemon does not one-shot all the Pokemon. And then you just escape rope out, and then you just teleport back to Equity City. How long can you go talking without, with your voice getting a horse? Uh... Like, my voice, when I'm recording, 
If I record like two 30 minute sessions, uh, then my voice gets hoarse. Which seems like too fast. Granted, I the, the time it started getting hoarse, I did like a four hour recording session. That was not advised. Don't do that. And then ever since then, it's been less than ideal. Oh, am I going to lose here? Oh my gosh, it's going to get me. <laughs> Maybe I should have kept Mudslap and got rid of Swift. Probably. No boost because I one hit. Not really a good option against the Magnemite, honestly. Well, got it. I don't want to talk to you, Sin. I got PP. PP to spare, let's use it. Yeah, Ian, it, it's not actually permanently damaged, though, because I went to, like, a, a doctor, and they were like, they were like, your voice is fine. Go to a singing coach and just get some lessons. So I was like, okay. House of Stark, thank you so much for the $10. Yes, I like turtles. I think I am turtly enough for the turtle club. By the way, I mentioned that in one of my previous streams. There have been a bunch of comments about people telling me how cringe that movie is. So keep engaging with the algorithm and tell me how cringe Master of Disguise is in the comments for this video. Okay, we did it. We got to Morty. Probably won't one hit the Gengar, so let's equip the Mintberry just to be safe. And then we'll use like a Super Potion or something. Heal. Uh, I don't think we need an Ether. Let's go. Okay, Morty. Here we go. So we're going to go Confusion against the Ghastly. Hopefully we'll one hit both of his first two Pokemon, so I avoid Curse. Haunter, will I one hit? The answer is yes. Okay, so Gengar, I'm out speeding. Oh, and I one hit. So we're going to save our Mint Berry for Chuck. That is perfect. Also, doing the Lighthouse first means you don't have to unequip the Mint Berry after Morty and then re-equip for Chuck because you don't have to worry about the Knocked Owl in uh, the Lighthouse uh, putting you to sleep. Obviously, if you do it this direction, if you do it this way too, on your way back over to Olivine City, you can pick up a second Mint Berry uh, and then you're fine. I never wanted to be the Turtle Club to be associated with me, but yeah, yeah, here we are. Unfortunately. I fought that guy, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, let's go to Chuck. Chuck should be pretty easy. Uh, Chuck, Chuck feels the most like Lieutenant Surge in this game. Nice. I don't think I'm going to one-hit with Swift. Okay, just barely didn't. If you can damage it, it's better, because then you catch it a little bit more reliably. Please. Thank you. Okay, good. I really like Krabby, because he uses three of the HMs, and it's a lot more common than the, uh, the Psyduck in the forest. Oh, come on. No, 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 Price. Price is like not. Price is like Gen 1 Bruno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like a little bit better than Gen 1 Bruno, but he deserves more Bruno uh, consideration. Whereas, uh, whereas like Chuck is like Surge. Like sometimes you feel you play against Chuck and you're like, what? How did he hit like four dynamic punches in a row? And then I hit myself like five times in confusion. And then other times he just goes for like Mind Reader, misses Hypnosis anyways, and then you win. Yeah, I wasn't, I was like allowed to watch the anime, but my parents didn't want to get cable TV. My dad was like, that's too expensive. So we had three channels on TV. And so basically I could not watch the anime. My grandpa had cable TV, so I had to go to his house to watch Pokemon. And he also let me play as much uh, Game Boy. Oh, are you kidding me? The Hitmonchan froze me? Okay, defrosted me with Fire Punch. Perfect play. 
Uh, I could beat Nob. Yeah, so I didn't really watch much of the anime. Although, my fiance, when she was my girlfriend, uh, we watched a bunch of the Indigo League when it was on Netflix. I'm just going to heal. Question of the day, which Pokemon describes my mood? Oh, I like that question. I feel like Celebi kind of describes my mood. I feel happy and like an onion. I don't know what that joke was. That was the worst joke I've ever told. If this was a video, I would just scrap that line. That's That line's not even bloopers tier. Just leave that out. <laughs> Okay, so I one hit Chuck's Primeape. I should two hit the Polyrath if it's going to go for Hypnosis. Oh, I confuse it too. Oh, it Dynamic Punched me and actually hit. I hit myself. It misses a Dynamic Punch. I hit myself again. It hits itself, and then I knock it out. Okay, good. Won myself the Storm Badge. Under 30 minutes. This is an exceptional time. We are speeding through this game. Let's go. This is a confusing fight, yeah. Okay, we're going to go pick up some items now. So the first one... Oh gosh. Thank you for the donation. Just a second. I'm one of the reasons you can sleep at night? Well, I am so glad. I'm glad that my content helps you. Thank you so much for the donation. Okay, here we're going to get the secret PP up. We're also going to get escape ropes. So we'll get the escape ropes first because I need a few more. I couldn't buy enough earlier on to get out of caves a little bit easier. And then here, if we surf here, we can go all the way up here, grab a PP up. Thank you so much for showing me. This is the first time I've used that PP up in a playthrough, I think. Feels good. Okay, now we'll go here. We're gonna collect a rare candy. Down here, nugget, rare candy. You could get the soft sand, but today the soft sand's not gonna be useful. Now we're gonna go face the red Gyarados. Uh, I think we could have Hearthstone for this fight. I also want to heal, just... I don't want to mess around with it. It does have Thrash. And, like, I'm not, like, really overleveled. Which StarCraft unit is Selby most similar to? Huh. I think it would be a Spellcaster. Maybe, like, the Medic? Because it starts with Recover, Leech Seed, and Heal. I'm going to say the Medic. What's the quotes? The medic has some of the best quotes. Can't you need a physical or something like that? Ugh, what was the medic's quote? Something like that. All right. The boring time. Ask me questions now, please. Save me from this monotony. I did remember the Kimono Girls this time. I did. I did. This guy's gonna be annoying. He's got Magnemites. I was hoping that Confusion would just do enough damage to them, but, like, it's not. The Chica Nozumi. This super chat is not for you. It's for the cats. Okay. I'll say hi to them for you. Oh my gosh. The, the cats are in, like, the silliest positions right now. Is a nugget here. Yeah, no psychic or psi beam through level up. Why? Why? Will Dugong be out this year? Probably not, no. Favorite food? Burgers or pizza? I could eat burgers and pizza for every meal. Did I see the Pokemon Symphony back when it was on tour in 2018? No, but that sounds amazing. I actually remembered to talk to her. So now... What type are your cats? Ghost Steel? Uh, I think one of my cats is a fire type, and I think the other cat is a dark type.
Nice, I dodged that guy. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Which Pokemon would be a tastiest? Kingler sounds like a tasty Pokemon. I think uh, Crawdont would be pretty tasty too. Also, like, uh, let's not forget, like, uh, what's his name? Like, Fido? Alcremie? Yeah, those, those are going to be some tasty Pokemon. Has anyone seen those TikToks? There's a guy, he's like, he's a chef or something. And then he like says like how he'd cook every Pokemon. <laughs> My fiance shows me those all the time. <laughs> every time I'm just like, this is kind of dark. I'm not sure if I like this. <laughs> all right, let's one hit the Arbok. Goodbye. One hit this. And we'll one hit the Gloom. We'll be done this part. Yay. But now we have Jasmine, and I'm not looking forward with how Confusion was doing. I thought Confusion would be doing better. No! Come on. I joined the stream at a very long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not the best time to join, because it's the boring rocket ball line. So I think that something that's slowing Celebi down in general is the fact that it only has Confusion. Like, Confusion is its best move. Um, did it self-destruct? I think it self-destructed. By the way, here's a tip. I didn't know this until the last playthrough I did in Crystal. But you can just escape Rob out of here. Right? That's way better. <laughs> just do that. No, he caught me. Fine. I can ancient power the cloister. Still not enough. Oh wow, that did a lot. Okay, let's hope price is not going to be bad. I'm a bit worried after that damage range. That was a lot of damage. Where's my... Did I not get the hyper potion? Ah. Uh, he's not going to be bad. He's price. This is a risk. This is a risk. We're going to take it. I should be fine. Okay, I should be fine. Got here. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'm not fine. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Maybe confusion? Missed. <laughs> Miss is a blizzard. Oh my gosh. Price, you are terrible. Maybe blizzard? Missed another blizzard! What? <laughs> are you kidding me? What was this win? I can't believe that! That was like one of the worst showings of any gym leader. Holy, that was that was absolutely terrible. Missed Blizzard, Hyper Potion, Blizzard. Both Blizzards missed. Also, hi Gym Leader Matt, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Okay, Jasmine. Hottest Pokemon trainer for Scott? Um, for this question, to answer this question, I'm just going to state that I believe that every character in the game has aged with me over time. So all of the gym leaders are now adult ages. And then I will answer that question with the answer, Sabrina. Uh, okay, this is going to be bad. I know this is going to be bad. I think we paralyzed Cureberry for this so we don't get... No. <laughs> That's not what I want. Okay, here we go. Uh, if I get to the Steelix, I'll be fine. Hopefully she sends the Steelix out second. That would be ideal. Because then I won't be paralyzed for it. Yeah, okay, this is perfect. So there's going to be no problems here. Oh, uh, she's going to heal, which is annoying. If she gets a defense drop with the first Iron Tail, there could be problems, but... Oh, that crit. Brutal. Will the Magneton know in Sonic Boom me? It might. I might lose. It knows. <laughs> it got me. Okay. We'll do this again. This is going to be fine. It's going to be fine. If it doesn't crit, oh, I should be fine. What? Oh, I forgot. 
I healed before Paralyzed Cure Berry. That's annoying. Man, I need like... I need like five more levels for this fight. 43 would give me the two hit on the Steelix. I, I should still get the win now. Because like it can't Thunderbolt me. Because I resist it. Okay. Now we're off to the second part of the rocket plot line. You all have chances to ask more questions. What's this music? It says Global Terminal. That's the track name. Ah. Oh. What? Like, so close to one-hitting there. Uh, Shuckle was originally going to happen in the summer, but Shuckle has been unfortunately delayed. If I could organize an Elite Four, who would I put in it? Okay, that's a good question. Um, you have to answer me uh, another part, though. I need a clarification. Am I organizing an Elite Four out of already standing Elite Four members, or out of already, like, introduced Pokemon characters? Or am I just, like, putting together an Elite Four and naming them and, like, telling you what their team is? Like, how creative is this challenge? I have to fight this guy, unfortunately. Maybe? No, I won't one-hit, of course. Favorite Psychic type Pokemon? Probably Mewtwo. I really like Mewtwo. Hiker Anthony. Hiker Anthony is good. We got art for him now. Okay. If I was going to make my own Elite Four, I would make them all, like, interesting rare typings. I think Gen 1 did a really good job of that because it made it feel like all of the League members were like the Pokemon that you didn't have access to during the playthrough. It's like... Um... Yeah. Fluffy Traxy, you're right. Everyone smash the like button. Make me feel good about myself. Come on. Here we go. 600 likes. That's what it should be. Oh, I don't have enough confusions to one-hit all the Pokemon. <laughs> Maybe dislike now. <laughs> it's a good thing that confusion is going to get the one-hit on all this, the... Uh, Coughing. Okay, so like, coming back to my Elite Four, I would probably make them rare types. So it'd be like, Steel, Ghost, Dragon, and Ice, or something like that. Um, you think if I click it a few more times, it'll actually work? I would also make sure that all of their aces are like really epic Pokemon. Because like, they kind of, I feel like they kind of dropped the ball there on Karen in Gen 2. Like, Houndoom is a cool Pokemon, but it should have been Tyranitar. Like, that would have made Karen just so much more interesting. Hey, Batman, how's it going? Go in the basement. Um, yeah, and no duplicates on their team members. Exactly, Andrew John. Like, why, why do you have, like, Gengar and Gengar on on Agatha's team. Well, we know why. Because they only had one ghost Pokemon. Oh, God. It's a, no, yeah. it's, a it's a dark type. <laughs> Don't do that to it. Okay, so really weird. The uh, Quilava is not fully evolved in this fight. Every other starter that the rival has is fully evolved for this fight. So, often the Typhlosion team feels like the weakest team in this battle. Yeah. Kind of annoying. A really weird asymmetry. I don't know if they did that and they like scaled the starters levels like that to give you an easier time if you're Meganium. Like, because Meganium is like kind of known for being real bad. By the way, I'm doing a playthrough with it soon, so stay tuned. Um, but yeah. But her Tyranitar would be illegal like Lance's Dragonites. It doesn't matter. Give her a Tyranitar. Come on. Why, is he, why does she have a Vile Plume? Take the Vile Plume away, give her a Tyranitar. So that those would be the types of my um, Elite Four members. If I had to assemble an Elite Four... I need some water, just a second. We have to get into a battle first.
If I had to assemble, assemble an Elite Four, I'd probably have Lorelei. She's really good. I'd probably have Karen. Karen is really good. Um, the Gen 3 Elite Four members are honestly not that good. Maybe I would get Steven. Um, Gym Leader Matt, Meganium is fine. The problem is the other starters are fantastic. Yeah, you're right. But everyone should check out Meganium's learn set because Meganium's learn set is significantly better than uh, Venusaur's. I don't think people really like understand that. It starts with Razor Leaf. Venusaur doesn't. So, also it gets Earthquake. Venusaur doesn't. Venusaur also does not get Sludge Bomb. It gets no damage dealing poison moves. Why? Because it's a Gen 1 Pokemon, obviously. Flavor. I'm not going to need Sleep Talk. 100% not going to need Sleep Talk. Or the Amulet Coin. Probably going to need Return. There's going to be at least one person that will tell me how boring it is that I use Return. Okay. Could just watch the video until I get Return and then turn it off. <laughs> All right, let's buy uh probably calcium. Just max out the calcium. We'll do one protein, good measure. Calcium increases both special defense and special attack, which is why it's really good. So, what a broken vitamin. Just redo every video. Yeah, to be fair, I'm probably just going to redo every video anyways. Like, <laughs> my obsession. My obsession. It will not let me stop. Time to leave and return for the next video. Exactly. God, is there a move that I would have liked Pokemon to introduce in a gen... That was not in Gen 1 instead of in a later gen. Yeah, it's Shadow Ball. Give me a different ghost move. I totally think Shadow Ball. Oh, gosh. I feel like Shadow Ball. Yeah, like, give me a ghost move. Anything. Anything. Even just like. I don't know. Like a bad ghost move that we don't- that doesn't exist. I'm gonna save- I don't have any healing items. I'm gonna save before this guy. I'm a bit scared. I have Ancient Power. That was my plan. Oh, Dragon Breath as well. But, to be fair, there are only, like, I- Oh, gosh. I thought he was gonna send out the coughing next. <laughs> so I switched to Confusion. And then he sends in Houndoom. Just great. Yeah, maybe a dragon move and a ghost move. That's what I want in Gen 1. Dragon and ghost. No, we're going to get Sunny Day. We're going to get Sunny Day just in case. Small little inefficiency there. It's a yes three times, then no, then yes. Then no. Last one's no. There are six questions. First one is like, do you want to take the questionnaire? You got to say yes to that. Okay. Oh, a better bug move would be nice. But to be fair, Twin Needle is actually kind of good. In Gen 1. Like, it's not a very good move, but like... It's at least passable. It gets the job done against like Executor. Why do I surf there? To avoid the spinning trainer. And it gives me the repel for the cave. It will take me just as long to, like, manually sneak by this, uh, the spinning trainer on 4x speed. On one time speed, I'd probably just, like, go by the spinning trainer uh, regularly. Hey, Chris Dixon, how's it going? Thanks for sending me the message on Patreon the other 
uh, like maybe like two weeks ago or something like that. I appreciated it. Oh gosh. Okay, I can get another PV up here. So when's Beedrill? I don't know. I really want to do... I want to do uh, the like flying bug showdown of uh, Venomoth versus Butterfree versus Beedrill in Crystal. I'm like really excited about that run. Because I got to redo my Venomoth run where it doesn't evolve... Where it doesn't like start as a Venonat. Because it'll get better results. Okay, so we're going to do some move reorganization here like that. Emergency exit is exit is so trash. Yeah, it's funny though. It's funny. Um, we're gonna do uh, Ariados and uh, Lady and remakes this year. Those should be fun. Beedrill absolutely sucks in RV. Yeah, he does. Beedrill's real bad in the gen in Gen One. Yeah, Van Man and uh, J Rose are great. Um, Gym Leader Matt is really good. He's in chat as well. There's a bunch of people too. Uh, coming up in my Parasect video, which will be coming out. Perhaps in a week. Um, in the Parasect video, I, I'm going to talk about a bunch of other people who make content. So I'll leave links to their channels and stuff there. Oh, Squidgy. If you want to see Gen 2 stuff, watch Squidgy. Squidgy's very good. It's like a squid, word squid, with a G-Y. Kevin, be nice to Gym Leader Matt. Let's not disparage other people's content creation. It's really hard to make content, and, uh... Like, everyone's just doing their best. I'm doing my best. Sometimes I call Snubble Teddy Ursa. And then, uh, everyone comments, Wait, what did you mean there? <laughs> it's like, okay. Oops. Nope. That... Ah, taught the move, but didn't remove the whirlpool. Okay, top option, top option, bottom option, top option, mid option. Did it. Were you going to do stadium vids this year? No, definitely not. I, I don't know when I would get to stadium vids. That's like probably not this year. I don't know when. But yeah, if you teach the Dratini waterfall right here after you obtain it, your cursor is already in the right place in your bag. You don't have to use the escape rope. So I always teach it right there. Just to minimize like one extra click. I guess I could teach it right here when I you right before I use the escape rope. That's really what I should be doing. Okay, it's time for the first dark place that I have to have to navigate without flash. So please, uh, everyone put your support in the chat because I'm a bit nervous about this. can't believe I'm doing this live for the first time. It's like a terrible idea. It's like doing math on stream. Don't do it. Okay, we go until that, then we go over, then we go down until that is one blip. We go over, then we go down until we're in line. One, two, oh no, on, one, two, three, four, five, up. Over, around, down, on the edge, in line, jump over the walls, go up, turn, get the rare candy. And then we escape rope out. Did it! Okay.
All right. That feels good. We got two more dark places to go still, so... Um, <laughs> it's not over yet. That's the easiest one, by the way. Uh, S Mount Silver is the medium difficulty one, and Rock Tunnel is the hardest one. Because there's like four floors, and you, there's like no items to navigate with. The items are really helpful to get in the right position. Gotta get the rhythm of that girl. Yeah, we'll get that. We'll get Solar Beam. Sure. Just in case we actually want a grass move with this grass Pokemon. I know you probably came to my channel hoping for some Gen 1 content. Well, this this move pool is a, a Gen 1 move pool. Why would you have a stab move? The bonus. You only get it sometimes. Hi, <laughs> Scott, I got in late. Could you start over? Okay, let me just like restart right now. Uh, we're going to skip the max elixir. I don't think I need it. So, like, Celebi is actually pretty good. Um, but the problem is that all its moves are just not really that good at this point. Which is overall, like, slowing the playthrough down a little bit. We are just not one-hitting as much as we could be. And in... Uh, the Johto games, which are overall significantly easier than Generation 1 and Generation 3, um, not one-hitting is a big problem, because that's going to be the thing that really makes a difference between Pokemon. I don't think I can learn Earthquake. Why did I get it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh... All right, don't psychic this thing. Ancient power. Gotcha. Ancient power. I was hoping there... That I might get the boost, but I didn't. Boost? No. Fine. Alright, Magneton, play nice. Well. I think I'm fine. As long as I hit the cadaver on Haunter, I'll be good. Oh, I got confused. Are you kidding me? Stop. <laughs> okay. I just need to land swift on this thing and I win. Boom, did it. Serene Grace Ancient Power? I never thought about that. That sounds amazing. Oh, that sounds so good. Alright, let's go. Um, for this, I think Hardstone is better for Will. Make that Ancient Power as hard as possible. Hopefully I have the PP to make it, though. He's got five Pokemon and I've only got seven uses. Okay, one hit the Zatu. Good. If I don't one hit, I have the chance for the boost. But so far, one hits all around. One hit on this Zatu, level 50, damage running threshold, can learn Parish Song, no thank you. Executor, probably Hidden Power Ice for this one, definitely, one hit. Nothing really good against the slow row, so let's Ancient Power just in case we get a boost. Yeah, I did get the boost. Sweet! Ah. Yeah, Bite Flinches with Serene Grace or uh, Body Slam par Paralysis. That's another good one. So, I have my Ethers now. My Ethers can be used on Ancient Power before Koba. Koga. Koba. <laughs> Koga. <laughs> will we get an Omni Boost or will we Aerodactyl it? Yeah, that's really the question that we have to answer. Yeah, I could have taught... I guess I could have taught Shadow Ball just for the Cloister. Gosh, Fortress is awful. This Pokemon is so frustrating to fight. It's like you just need a fire move for it. You have a fire move, it's so easy. Okay, we got him. Didn't power ice the Crobat. Of course, double team. Oh yeah, by the way, I fixed my accuracy. Someone mentioned to me that in Generation 1, one hit from Sand Attack takes you down to 66% accuracy. Um, from 100%, but in Generation 2, uh, it only takes you down to 75% accuracy. So I, I did make that change. And I also discovered, through doing that change, uh, an error on Bulbapedia, which
which says in generation three and four, when you have plus four, it's like accuracy or something. You have like, it's like a 250% modifier. That's not correct. It's 233. Um, it's exactly what it should be. Go look at the table. The table's wrong. We looked at the disassembly. All right. Um, yeah, this battle is like pretty easy. He can't really do that much damage to me. So like, I don't expect to lose. It's kind of annoying that I'm not one hitting. I would be one hitting if I had Psybeam. You think that my legendary Pokemon would have Psybeam by now? It's level 52. But no, of course. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Swift's accuracy is broken on the overlay. That's a good point. I, I'll have to make a exception for that then. That's going to be annoying to program. It's actually functioning just as it's intended, but yeah. Okay. Let's go, Umbreon. Give me a boost. Oh. Fine. Maybe we can see some of that broken accuracy here. Apparently not. It's just going to faint attack like crazy. Okay. Okay, that was a lot of faint attacks. I, I might... Might be able to knock everything else out. Oh. I think this is rare candy time. Yeah. To 58. Then we'll change the held item. Booperinos. Member for three months. It's good to have you. Uh, let's go Paralyzed Curberry. In case. You didn't know you can share your membership here. Oh, that's cool. Okay, please. Boost. Boost. No, double sand attack. Okay, it's time to use Swift. Despite what it says on my overlay, that is not the accuracy. Okay, I'm going to Swift this. No, that's probably a mistake. Oh, I don't want to miss. Mm, miss. Okay, 58 gives the one hit on that. That's good. Good one hit this. Good. And hopefully we'll one hit the Gengar. Ah, uh, miss. One hit. Good. Okay, Karen's done. Even with minus two accuracy. Pretty good. Obviously never melt ice. Uh, yeah, let's do it. There's no real reason to save the max elixir. There aren't a lot of locations in the game where the elixirs really help you continue through an area. So, oh, sweet. Critically hit the Gyarados. Nice. And then we should just one hit all of these with hidden power ice. Uh... It has lower physical defense, even though it's a rock type, but I just do way more damage with uh, Hidden Power Ice. This is why Hidden Power Ice. Yeah, this is why. Just for Lance. Like, we want to get through his team, and like, Ancient Power's damage ranges are not going to be enough to one-hit the Dragonite, so you're going to get like a lot less consistent there, because then you get hit by Blizzard and Fire Blast and like... I don't want to deal with that. Also, I want an easy Claire. Like, I don't want to have a bad Claire. Alright, skip the credits. Reset the game as fast as possible. Talk to Elm, get the SS ticket. We do not need the Master Ball because we do not need to catch Snorlax. Go on straight here. To the ship. Take us to Kanto. Let's go. Ah, I know why. The accuracy of the moves needs to be just like a dash when it bypasses accuracy checks rather than a uh, than a percentage. I was looking at that on the overlay because our JSON files are incorrect. Uh, that I'll make that change later today. So that it won't affect... Ah, uh, yeah, I should do it now. Yeah, I'll do it now. I'll just explain it in the video because I've already filmed half of a couple videos. All of the starters videos are half filmed. 
We've only gotten one boost with Ancient Power so far today. But again, you can't get them if you knock the Pokemon out. In Gen 2. That's changed in Generation 3. Another reason Ancient Power uh, or Hidden Power Ice is nice is that it... Uh, ice is nice, yes. We get the leftovers from here. Last PP up for Ancient Power. Get through here. I should have picked up Psychic. Well, Hidden Power Ice is going to be enough for this because I also have the Never Melt Ice. Then we'll get Psychic when we fly back to... Uh... Oh, it's, it's fine anyways because I would have had to like... The rooting would have been different, so, like, if I don't, uh... Yeah, I, I, if I don't want to backtrack at all, as long as I one-hit everything in here, then I should be fine. Gotta give the rock move bigger PP. Yeah, we could get Giga Drain. The thing is, like, why do I need Giga Drain? Like, is, is Giga Drain really better? Like, I don't know. I'm not going to save for any of these gems. Um, babe, like, I don't even think I need to save for Blaine. I have Ancient Power. <laughs> Scott, Arcanine versus Ninetales Redo? No, I refuse. Maybe I'll do a stream with those Pokemon at some point in the future and we can all just, like, feel the pain. Excuse me, when I get to Lance... Since you get swift from blue. Do you get swift from blue? Is that true? I never noticed what TM you get from blue. Do you actually get swift from blue? How did I not notice that? I'm going to learn something today. Hey, we haven't used return yet. Hope you're all proud. Yes, you get swift from blue. Wow. No way. Um, yeah, let's teach Giga Drain. Right? Why do you need Swift? We don't need Swift. Giga Drain. Haha. We have recovery now, too. No! <coughs> I hate when this person catches me. Hey, Giga Drain! Nice. So we're going to have to beat her with Ancient Power because it's physical. Uh, actually, Giga Drain is better here against the Espeon. Giga Drain, look at that! Coming through! Good job, Giga Drain. It's out of PV now, though. I drained too much. Yeah, rip Shadow Ball. I could have taught it in the place of Hidden Power and just got a new Hidden Power TM, but... I'm just gonna try and not do that. If we can just, like, prevent learning moves, we'll save time, so that's better. I dare you to get a tattoo of 0358. I actually kind of like that idea. Put a barcode by it and be all edgy. Put 0358 underneath it. Or get a barcode tattoo of 0358. Now I'm going to be cool at parties. Yeah, I am... I'm going to do a hop hip playthrough of Generation 2. Not this year. But I am. Uh, our time is really good. Like This time is exceptional right now. Scott is the coolest at parties? Yeah. Can confirm. My whole life. Definitely been the coolest. Nope, that's the wrong move. Well, we're going to do this. Okay. Get the machine part. Teleport back. We could get some sub 130. Yeah, I think we're easily going to get sub 130. Question is, how close to 120? Okay, now the hardest tunnel in the game that's dark, so I'm going to focus here for a second. Okay, please.
Okay, I did it. Uh, which way do I go now? Oh yeah, I go over, then I go down, item ball, over, item ball, up, over, up, up, over, down. Is that right? Oh god, did I mess it up? I think I messed it up. Oh gosh, I messed it up. We're gonna come back to that in a bit. <laughs> Oh, what was I thinking? I go up, then I come through. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. I have to go straight on that floor. And I thought I was on the last floor, but I was on the second last floor. Why don't you go? No, Sabrina City is not faster. I tested it. Sabrina City is five seconds slower. If you watch speedrunners do it, they go through. Uh, they go through the tunnel and they go through it dark. Uh, yeah, but I have Erica's badge, and Erica's badge gives me a 12.5% boost to the damage of all grass-type moves. Oh. Well, I have hidden power eyes for this. Uh, let's just max elixir. Keep going. I'll fly back to the city, then I'll teleport back outside and go through the cave. I'll just fight Erica now. All right, sorry, Misty now. Fallen hero, thank you for the one membership gift. I really appreciate it. Miguel, enjoy the membership. Okay, I'm not going to mess this up again. I'm not going to mess this up again. I wonder if they sell escape ropes in this mart. Can someone research that for me? Escape ropes. Can Do they sell escape ropes in the Kanto Cerulean City Mart? Yeah, we get to use Giga Drain. This is nice. It feels so good to have a decent grass move and a good psychic move. Like, ugh. Do you have to go through Rock Tunnel? No, but I want to. I could just go the other way, but I lose time by doing that. And that's not the speedrunner thing to do. And if I do if I do the other thing, people are gonna criticize me. We're gonna make it. It's fine. We're gonna get through. Okay, so I go up, over, down, over, up, two steps, up, over, up, over, up, two steps, up over through the door and that gets me out here which I go down till the item ball over up over up through over up over down up one over until I'm here and then out did it you see you see I got this I don't need no escape ropes easy easy Haha! -ha. That'll get way better. This is the first time I'm doing it in a playthrough, so... Uh, gosh, I, that was tense. I have to say, I'm, a, I'm like a bit... My heart is beating. My hands are shaking. But I'm still walking. And I'm still getting through dark locations. Okay. Oh. Uh, after dating myself, let's head into Surge's gym. Hopefully take an easy victory here. Ugh. I think the menu flash only works in generation one. I might be wrong. Yeah, everyone liked the video. That's right. <laughs> 680 of you here right now like the video. <laughs> Make me feel good about myself. Make the YouTube algorithm feel good about me. That way... We all win. All right, Magneton, don't get back. Oh, yes. One hit the Magneton. Feels so good. Oh, I'm feeling good about this now. Yes. Yes. Goodbye, Surge. 
just as bad as you were in Generation 1. I don't surf there because then you can get a wild encounter. Why would you get a wild encounter? That's bad. The likes are actually rising. This actually works. It does. So every time I ask people to like the video and comment on the video, it has like 2x the comments and likes that it has when I don't ask anyone. And I just don't ask people because I don't want to break the flow of the content. Um, but yeah, please like, <laughs> subscribe. Give me all the vanity metrics. Okay. Um, I should probably, like... I wish I had another elixir, but I don't. I'll just kick a drain a little bit. I'll heal in uh, Viridian City, so I don't need uh, to keep opening the... Uh, keep opening the uh, menu. This should be five one-hits with Giga Drain, I assume. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> Skull looks like an onion? Yeah. Feel like an onion, too. Let's go! We just forget to do it because we're entertained. Yeah. Rikiri. I hope that's how I say your name. Yes! I skipped the Beedrill dude! Feels so good when I skip the Beedrill dude. I mean, you get Earthquake and Victory Road. Yeah, well, I, I did get it. But I can't learn it. Okay. Normally I jump down the ledge, but there's a small mistake that you can make if you do that. I saw Squidgy go to that side and I was like, I think that's really smart. No. Annoying. I don't think we're going to need to train. I little, I literally think after this, we just literally use all my rare candies and win. Like, I think right before blue, we use all the rare candies and then we're done. Uh, Ancient power. I think we just three hit with ancient power here. Did this thing change to a fairy type or is this still a psychic type? I think this is still a psychic type Pokemon. I really think it should be Grass Fairy. Is there any Grass Fairy Pokemon? Well, let's be real. What's that thing called? Oh, gosh. Floet? That line. Florgis? Flabebe? Why are... Why are they not Fairy Grass? I thought they were Fairy Grass for the longest time. Oh, yeah. Whimsicott, Shenotic. Look, at everyone's got me. Good job. Yeah, I, why is Floet... A, a, pure Fairy makes no sense. I have problems with that. Like, Venomoth being Pure Fairy makes a lot of sense. But Floet... No sense at all. This is why we heal... In, uh... That's why we heal in Viridian City. Well, you don't have to heal, you just have to go in the Pokemon Center... If you watch some of my other streams, you'll just see me walk inside for, like, one square, but that's it. Um. Okay. Ah, over damage running. 68. Sweet. Uh, what item do I want here? I don't actually know. Just give leftovers, just in case. I want to do Psychic. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Blue. Check the TM he gives you afterwards. Yeah, good point. Uh, yeah, let's use this. Okay, is this just going to be a series of one hits? Is this going to be a series of one hits? It might be. Oh, no, we don't one hit the Arcanine. Oh, are you kidding me? I hate you. So, okay, at least I got the boost. I got the boost. Let's switch to Psychic now because I got the boost. Ah, oh, gosh, the burn... Brutal. Brutal burn. Uh, let's Giga Drain heal, because this thing, it's like, oh, crit. Sweet! I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win off the back of that. I would Ancient Power this thing, but I got burnt. And I don't want to do it. Uh, oh, better damage roll. Okay, so we're gonna win, even with that burn. 
Okay, we did it. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see what he gives me. Doesn't give me anything. He literally just stood there. Does he just not announce it to you? Okay. Come on. Okay, we're going to fight one wild Pokemon to get to level 69. And then I'm going to get the rare candy. We're going to go to level 70 for red. We will heal here. He's like, you win. <laughs> get out. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, he is like that. Like, smell you later. Fight someone. And I gotta do the... Then I gotta do the dark cape. Are you... What is happening? Why did Gamehook do that? Gamehook, you silly thing. Okay, give me a Pokemon. 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 Where are you? Where are the Pokemon? What is happening? I can't control anything. Okay, Pokemon. Pokemon. Where is it? There it is. Finally. Holy. That was so bad. Okay. Nice level. Now we're going to go Rare Candy here. Then we are going to go Super Repel and we're going to go into the cave. Let's see. In case I need to reset. Okay, so we can plan this one out with items. Yep, I'm correct. Did it. Okay, so sub sub one twenty is not happening, but uh, we're here at a decent time. Oh, I used one ancient power. Okay, here we go. Red. Let's see if I can beat him. Let's. I hope this one hits. It does not one hit. Got it. Don't do that. Uh. Mm, okay, so don't do that. That was a bad choice. Genuinely a bad choice. Um, at least we two hit the Charizard. We took a lot of damage in the process, but we can Giga Drain back some health. What are you going to do? Psychic? No, it's not going to work. I, I don't know if I can get through the Snorlax. That is the biggest problem right now. Like, because it's going to Amnesia, and then its special defense goes up like crazy. I can use these and then hopefully get the Omni Boost, but I'm not going to get the Omni Boost, am I? No. We reset now. Sorry. Uh, I think we get rid of Giga Drain. Okay, let's go. I think Psychic the Pikachu, it should one hit, right? Yeah, so much better than Ancient Power. I was just hoping I could one hit with that. But now without the charm, I should one hit the Charizard. Yeah, okay, good. So, no damage. Make it to the Espeon. I can use Return here. Hopefully, that'll be a two-hit. Yep. Okay. Then on the Snorlax, I have more powerful physical damage. I'm going to go for Psychic first turn. A crit. That was nice. Then Return. Uh, hidden Power is for the uh, the Venusaur. That Snor crit. A lot of damage. Oh, gosh. This is not going to be a three-hit. Oh, okay, we could just pink bow that, but... Okay, is it going to sunny day? Sunny day would be really nice. Okay, no sunny day, fine. Ah, just barely not two hit. Got it. Oh yeah, I could use... Psy I should use Psyche for the Venusaur, you're right. Yeah. Blastoise is hitting pretty hard. Oh, we're going to do it. <laughs> All right. Ta-da! So we did it. We beat the game. Celebi gets a time of 1 hour, 22 minutes, and 23 seconds with 4 resets, and it finished the game at level 71. This took 5 hours and 10 minutes of game time. <coughs> okay. Um. Yeah. I could have played the final fight better. Obviously. Psychic the Venusaur. I could probably, like, pink bow... 
and then like I don't maybe Shadow Ball. Let's like let's go back in and just like let's test a couple battles against Red just to see like um genuinely like how it can do. First of all though, let's see where Celebi ranks. So uh playthrough time of one hour twenty two minutes and twenty three seconds is second best. Second best. Okay, so one sub 120 is 100% possible. It, I think, is possible for Celebi to get a better time than ho -Oh. Mud Slap for Magnemites. Um, playing the red fight better. Not losing to the rival in Burned Tower because you have Mud Slap. Um, yeah. Obviously, better Rock Tunnel will help. Yes, you're right. Uh... Show showblit, showblit. I think I got that right. Um, yeah, good Pokemon does really well. Um, I think I can shave more time off Ho's playthrough too. So, yeah, I think it can. Let's go and we're gonna see. I'm gonna just like um, we're gonna we're gonna go back in now. We're gonna see what we can do against Red. Okay, so... Red. I think... Because I can have, like, another move. So I was wondering if, like, what about Shadow Ball? It's so, like, you keep Giga Drain for the Blastoise. You don't need Ice moves. So you can get Shadow Ball. And then I can get Return. Oh, maybe then I don't get Return. I don't know. Does return one hit the... Does return one hit the... Uh... Oops. One second. I'm messing things up here. I'm messing my root file up. I need to not do this. Okay, let's see. I want to test the damage range for a return. Brian Wise Carver. So another playthrough? Huh. I think so. Uh, do we have time? We do have time. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see damage ranges. So return, put return over hidden power. Charizard. Ancient power only has a 66% chance to one hit. I thought it was going to do better than that. Wow. Return has a 69% chance to one-hit the Snorlax, so that's nice. Celebi is going to two-hit the Espeon. I don't take much damage against the Espeon. Two-hit the Venusaur with Psychic. Giga Drain two-hits the Blastoise. Um... I don't know, I think this moveset's fine. What if I go Hardstone? Like, maybe it... I don't know. Is that a good idea? Hardstone, hold. Does that one hit the Charizard all the time? Yeah, it does. What about Pinkbow? Does Pinkbow improve my damage ranges on the Snorlax? Yeah, guaranteed three hit on the Snorlax with Pink Bow. Return one hits Pikachu. Obviously, return is going to sweep. Of course. Ancient power is a 66% chance. 
We're going to test Shadow Ball. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, we'll TMHM that. Put it in the place of Giga Drain. We already know how much damage that does. Let's see what Shadow Ball does to the Espeon. I got a feeling that's not going to one hit. 64% chance to one hit. It's not worth it. It's better to it's better to go, I think. I think Pink Bow is probably gonna be better. And then just hope on the Snorlax because he or against the Charizard. He sends the Charizard in second. So you lose fast if the Charizard doesn't go down, or you take damage fast if the Charizard doesn't go down. You're still gonna get the chance to recover health on the Blastoise. How much is Snorlax doing per hit? Like 24, like 25% damage. Okay. How much does the Charizard's Flamethrower do? 70%. Yeah, so you lose if the Charizard hits a Flamethrower. Bit annoying. Maybe you heart. Ah, oh, gosh. It's an annoying choice. It's like either, either the Snorlax is brutal. Either the Snorlax is brutal. Or the uh or the charizard is brutal so let's like we're gonna ask a question which one is more important to consistently take care of they were running a poll okay the poll which one is most which one is more important to consistently take care of charizard or snorlax okay Everyone vote. Right now there are 650 of you. So we got to we got to really vote this cuz this is going to be how I play the next the next playthrough. Oh yeah, maybe curse. We can yeah, we can always see that. Let's just check my speed. 214. How much speed do I lose? So 214 times -1 We'll, we'll, uh, sixty-seven percent is really sixty-seven percent is not that high for a range. If it was like eighty, I'd be like, yeah. One curse to one forty-three. Yeah. Snorlax can waste more time. I agree. Okay, the poll is going in the way of Snorlax. So I think it makes sense to do Pink Bow. Let's just test this. Uh, no, we're going to learn Return. So in this case, we're going to learn Return over Shadow Ball. This is my move set for Red. Then we are going to give Pink Bow. And we're going to try this a couple times. See how it goes. Okay. What about curse return strats? Well, we want to avoid curse return strats at all possible if this is like you win one out of two battles. Right? Or does everyone just want more curse return in their life? If that's what you want, you know, I can deliver. I can play the game with another first stage Pokemon. Okay, let's see. Do I get the range this time? Yep. Ta-da! Okay, so... Pink bow return. It's still not going to one hit this. It's annoying that it's set up. Oh gosh, this thing's set up. Uh, reflect. That's so annoying. I guess I psychic then. And then I return. It's going to do like nothing. Return fade or uh, reflect faded so then I can knock it out. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Look at this. Easy. Easy. Yeah, this is totally fine. Look at that. What's he gonna do to me? Yeah. Okay. I think this strat is is fine. Like that was very dominant, even though the Snorlax got a reflect. Um Yeah, Curse also requires me to go out of my way to grab a TM and then I have to teach it, and then I also have to set it up. All things which bloat playthrough time. So if we can just do this, um 
like, let's go back in and we'll just do it one more time. And I just want to see like what the, like how much time do we actually lose if, um, how much time do we actually lose if I have to reset to the Snorlax? So I'm, or, uh, to the Charizard. So we're going to find that out now. Let's do it. So we're testing, we're just testing for time lost on the Snorlax, on, on the Charizard. So we're going to have to get one here where the Ancient Power doesn't one hit. And if it always one hits, then maybe my damage calcs are wrong. Okay, it one hits. Well, it takes us 12 seconds to get to there. So that's good to know. I have to do a little bit of fancy footwork here to make the timer restart every time. I like that. I do not have control over my timer while I play. Uh, so I don't mess it up. Okay, so it lives, it hits flamethrower. And if I just reset there, it's like, what? Okay, this is, like, gonna be... So, like, probably, because I was a little bit slow there, probably about a 15-second time loss. If, um... If I do... If I just reset... Yeah, my software accounted for Brock's badge boost. Look, look at Ancient Power's power. 67%. With the Hardstone, it's 66. If I add the Hardstone now, it will be, it will be even higher than that. Do you even need to reset if you get hit? Let's find out. Good point. I... So do you reset when you get paralyzed by body slam? In this case, I think yes. I hope that doesn't happen. Let's see. Hit me, please. Uh, well, let's see if it paralyzes me with body slam. Like, you can run the Paralyzed Cure Berry, but I, I don't have the damage ranges. Okay, I got Paralyzed. Let's try and fight this out. No. That's terrible. What a terrible outcome. Yeah, like, I can survive the Flamethrower. The problem with surviving the Flamethrower... Okay, so, like, let's just look at the damage calcs again. Okay, okay, okay. Flamethrower from Charizard. Down here. Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah, it's down here. Um, flamethrower from Charizard. It's going to do between 58 and 69% damage, which is not so nice. Then, after that, after I take, like, 69% damage, Snorlax comes out, and I have to three-hit it. It's going to attack at least once, because it's going to amnesia once. And then that Body Slam is going to do 28% damage. So, like, my health is going to be so low going into the Venusaur... I guess I can, like, with the damage ranges, I could potentially survive the flamethrower followed by the body slam. Rooting in extra proteins? Yeah, well, we can try the proteins, but here's the thing. W watch this, okay? I just want everyone, I want everyone to understand how little the vitamins actually change. They usually don't change that much. So let's see how much um, the extra vitamins are going to change on the Charizard's range, okay? Right now, 214 to 252 damage, giving me a 66.49% chance to KO on the first turn. That's with no proteins. Now we'll go back. So here I bought six calcium, um, but I cannot use that many protein. We're just going to purchase like Five protein. Let's take it up to five used here. It's going to cry at us because it's just like, you can't do that. You can't do this, so we won't. We'll just do five protein. That's the maximum protein that I could do there. 217 damage to 256 damage. So we increased the low end of the range by three damage and the high end of the range by four damage. This increased our overall percentage to knock this thing out by like roughly 7%. Like, it's not that great of an improvement, in my opinion. Um, we don't really lose out on any other damage ranges, so, like, I might as well do it. Um, yeah, we don't lose out on anything. Yeah, I picked up the rare candy outside of the Mount Silver. I did. 
Only 206 of you voted. I'm watching. I see you. <laughs> Come on, people. Um, okay, so... I guess we go proteins. But we don't want to do that many proteins, because then we can't use the one in, uh... Uh, we want to use this protein. That's ineffective if we buy five here. So let's see if we buy four here. And then four, we're going to buy three calcium. And use three calcium. And then we still cannot use this. So we're going to buy three protein and four calcium. Yeah. Three protein, four calcium is going to give me that other one, and then the still, still the same damage range on the Charizard, and slightly better special. The real Morgan. God is the Pokemon video goat. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Thanks so much for the $1.99. Okay, so I think we got that figured out. Vitamins, it's going to be 3 protein, 4 calcium. Right? I want to confirm that. I want to get that wrong. Four calcium, three protein. Yeah, three protein, four calcium. Good, good, good. Um, I did not need... I did not need Mud Slap until after I got Hidden Power. Like, I think I should probably teach Mud Slap and Hidden Power around the same time, which, like, I have to figure out what my moveset is. Ancient Power Confusion, Hidden Power, and I had Swift. Do I need Swift? I don't think I need Swift. I don't think I need Swift. I want to check some damage ranges on Karen. Because Hidden Power... Uh, uh, Mud Slap here for the Magnemites uh, against Jasmine is going to be really, really, really helpful. Future Sight hits like two turns later. It's so bad. It's so bad. Karen. Damage ranges for Karen. Hidden Power Ice is doing the most against the the uh, Umbreon. Like, I'll have Mud Slap at this point, but like, what I was thinking is I can just teach Return here. And then Return gives me the two hit on the Umbreon. And then I want hit everything else. Yeah, that's so much better. I think that solves all the problems. Am I wrong? I think that solves all the problems. Okay. <laughs> I don't think there's ever a good reason to use Future Sight or Doom Desire. Unless you want style points. Style points, I'll give it to you. Those moves are great. If Return looked decent on Claire, you can almost do a different hidden power type. What about Lance, though? What about Lance? Forget Lance. Let's see. Let's see what Claire looks like. Let's teach return. Return does not one hit the dragon airs. No. We just get hidden power eyes. Hidden power eyes is fine. Because I, I think that, like, against Lance, I think we're just going to, like, run into, like, huge problems. If we don't have Hidden Power Ice. Yeah, we got to two-hit all the Dragonites. Like, if Ancient Power was, like, base 90 power, like, yes. 
Um, but I think that... Always worth a check. You are very right. Okay. Good. All right, everyone. Are y'all are y'all ready? We're gonna do it again. We're gonna play Pokemon Crystal with Celebi for the second time today. We're gonna get a better time. Hopefully, I'm not gonna mess up Rock Tunnel. Um, do you believe that sub 120 is possible for the second time in back-to-back -back playthroughs? It might be possible. So the time to beat is like 122, whatever I just got. Um, I believe that sub 120 is possible, but I'm going to have to play well, so let's do this. Okay. Is everything working? Everything looks like it's working. Here we go. Let's do this. Okay. I have to name myself Scott. It just doesn't feel right if I don't. Let's be real. Uh, I, there's a problem. Just a second. I have to go in and fix something on my code. I tried to make a code improvement yesterday and it's glitching game hook, so I just need to be careful about that. Okay, now we're ready. Second Selby playthrough, let's do it. Ho's time was like 11903 or something like that. If we get under 119, then we will beat Ho's time. Let's go, let's go. I'm gonna try and focus real hard during this run. I really want to get this best time. Gotta say yes to him. I didn't say no multiple times. That's better. The front spray is so bad. It's so bad. Selvi looks terrible. If I saw that and I was like, that's a legendary Pokemon, immediately boxed. Okay, so we're going to knock out everything uh, with confusion. Get as many early levels as possible. We're obviously going to skip Sprout Tower. Makes you sad Mew doesn't start with confusion in Gen 1? Yeah. Pound and Transform is a pretty bad set. I don't know if it's a top 10 Pokemon with its Brock split. It's a good Pokemon, but it's... I don't know if it's top 10. You think the Celebi Sprite's really cute? No! Yes, it is Gym Leader Matt. The real, the one and the only. Tombstoner, brother. Ah, bumping into so many walls. Feels so bad. Just hanging out while working? Nice. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This one's already tense, this run. We're like two minutes in, I'm like... I'm, I'm getting into focused mode. I got like shark eyes. Coming. Oh, oh. You're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get a better time with what would be perceived as a weak, weaker legendary. Like, if you give ho -Oh the medium uh, slow growth rate, it's just gonna be like 110. It's gonna be like 10 minutes faster. Let's go. Yeah, I got Sharpedo eyes. I'm trying to torpedo through this game. Let's go. 
Come on, stop it. Stop. Whoa, 12 hours for a shiny and virtual console uh, crystal. It's a good shiny to have though, because you couldn't get that originally in the international releases. It's nice to like spend the time to get it. Let's go, let's go. Why is Bruno better in Gen 2? Uh, he has like Rock Slide and stuff on his Machamp, which really helps him out. His fighting types actually do useful things sometimes. There, there are a lot of reasons that Bruno is really bad in Gen 1. Like, he doesn't have good AI, his moveset is trash. All of his Pokemon just seem to not know what they're doing. They have, they don't have the special uh, stat split. So because they don't have the special stat split, they just like, they have like no special defense. You hit them with any special move and they like immediately just crumple. Let's get it. I didn't need the bitter berry, so we're going to skip that. What? <laughs> Broke my boyfriend's ears when it appeared. Yeah, I, I get that. I got a, I got a, someone said that they got in trouble for watching not safe for work content uh, at work when I did my previous ho -Oh playthrough and I beat my, uh, and I got my best time ever because I was like freaking out. Yeah. Okay, come on. Bellsprout. 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 Not as bad as last time. Come on, Bellsprout. Come on, Bellsprout. Bellsprout. Where are you? Oh, this is bad. This is terrible. One of the worst Bellsprouts. There we go. Okay, please catch it. Catch it in, like, the first ball. That'll make up for it. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Oh, uh... Pokemon Cry that I really dislike is Aromatisse. That Pokemon is terrifying, and then its cry is like, or whatever, it, like, I can't do it right now. But like, gosh, it's terrifying. I hate that cry. <laughs> Favorite moments when I tell you to look at the screen? Okay, I'll make sure that I do that more often. Let's go. Faulkner, Faulkner. Remember, we're not going to teach Mudslap. Cricketunes cry? Isn't that one a screeching cry too? I don't know. I didn't play a lot of Gen 4. So we're not going to teach Mudslap. We'll just save the time. Yes, Cody, this is the second playthrough. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm going to skip the Miracle Seed because it was bad. Ah, and there's the Bellsprout. This guy's pretty fast. Might as well just fight him. I'm going to skip everyone else, like I did last time. <laughs> Didn't realize I wasn't watching live. Oh, no. Well, it's good that we got you here now. Ah. Uh... I'm feeling this beat, to be honest. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm I'm not feeling it. This early game has been kind of brutal with the encounters, but I'm just putting in the training now. Hopefully we'll skip some trainers later on and end up at the same level. Ah! Awful. Hate when that happens. That was just a misplay. Well... There's lots of ways to gain back time elsewhere. Hopefully we skip this guy. We skipped him last time. Yeah, nice. Got him. Skip the potion. Oh, skip Slowpoke guy. Also, Haze, if you're watching, shout out. How's it going, man? Thanks for sharing your awesome Slowpoke pictures with me. I really appreciate it. Cutest thing ever. I think just spam confusion knocks it out. HC just wastes time. More text.
Okay, here we go. I don't know why I healed. That was a misplay. Not focusing. Focus, Scott. Let's go. No, full heal. Need the full heal. This is kind of weird. Um, a lot of times when I do a second playthrough, I feel like... Um, when I do a second playthrough, what I feel like is uh, my, my focus gets like a little bit better. And because I've warmed up, I know all the things that I need to do. I don't forget as much, but I feel like it's kind of the opposite today. The second playthrough is not feeling quite as good so far. But I had a lot of silly resets last time, and Magnemite slowed me down, so... I think that one small change that we just made is going to be enough to to defeat them. The first playthrough, I love fighting. The first playthrough was quite good. Um, we got the second best time in Crystal so far. And I think we might actually beat ho at this playthrough if we, if we get at least, like, a decent time. Should probably go to the other side of the gym. I don't go to the left side because I'm scared of accidentally walking a little bit too far on four times speed and then encountering the rival when I'm not ready and haven't saved. Then you lose the entire run because of that. Hi, <laughs> listening at the gym now. Good. Good. That's what we need. More people at the gym listening to Pokemon content. I approve. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You can use Selby's psychic powers to lift the weights for you. That's how I would go to the gym. Okay, so we one hit the Metapod this time. That's good. Oh, it took a lot of damage from Fury Cutter there, but that's fine. I don't know if Emily's around. Emily is a viewer who used to write a lot of workout routines on my videos to motivate people. It's great. I think she commented uh, fairly recently, but not with a workout routine. Okay, one hit the... Uh, do we two hit the Quilava? Oh, I thought about using Mudslap here last time, but we, we can't do that this time, so... We'll just defeat it straight up. Obviously not hard. Um, ancient power. Learn that. Knock the Zubat out and continue. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. No. Oh, the bag the bag rearranges differently in Gen 2 than it does in Gen 1, and it always throws me off. Yes, perfect. I just didn't teach Swift. Might as well teach it. What is this song? Pokeathlon opening, that's what it says. We'll fight this guy. Set the waypoint there. Then I can teleport back after talking to Floria. I might have to use an ether though to get through. Mm. Ah, he got me. Ah. <sighs> well. We'll fight the other guy later. But I don't have Bunt Slap. I don't want to mess with the Magnemites. Or do I just teach Mud Slap now in the place of recover? Let's do that. We'll just get rid of Swift when we need the other move. Oh. 
What's my time prediction? I'm going to I'm going to be optimistic and say 118. Best time so far. No, no. Sta save states and rewind are banned. None of that. Got to play the game the way it was intended with say with us um, regular saves. States made make states basically eliminate a bunch of the RNG. Oh, sorry. Gosh. I'm gonna ether um, confusion. Okay, so run into some trainers here. Oh, I thought I was gonna skip that guy. Got me on the last part that he could. Um, yeah, my original my original enemy display had the opposing the opposing Pokemon's typing on it. It also had their level on it, but I removed that information because it, it got way too cluttered. Uh, it didn't look good. But I did think about that, but I don't I don't anticipate anytime soon that that will uh, that that will change. If every Pokemon had the fast growth rate, I'd give every Pokemon the medium slow growth rate, not the fast growth rate. Who would be on the top? Mewtwo. Mewtwo is so good. So good. It's so good. It has the slow growth rate, and I think it's going to be the best Pokemon in every game. It is weird to see a level 11 Magmar. <laughs> it's weird to be a psychic type and get hit by a ghost move and have it work. Gen 1, what have you done to me? Okay, so this is going to be a 2 hit and then a 3 hit on the mill tank. Double slap, alright. Let's go. Let's go. Did it. I got a speed boost from this badge. And a boost to normal type moves. So Swift's power increases. Uh, for solo challenges, the growth rate mechanic is awful. I hate it. I wish everything just leveled up at the same rate. It would be so much easier to compare stuff. Kyogre is going to be good in Emerald, that's true. Someone did mention, though, and I think that this is worth considering, the fact that Kyogre um, does get Drizzle. That means in every battle there is more text on screen, which is going to slow it down. So while it does a lot of damage, it is also going to be slowed down by the fact that rain takes time. I see some people saying that in chat. So I'm not entirely sure if Kyogre is going to be the best anymore. I think it's actually going to be interesting to see, and we will find out this year. Rayquaza is going to be good whenever you do it. Danny, how's it going? Okay, I'm real. Let's take this thing out. Huh, so Thunder will be viable for once? Yeah, with Drizzle. Which is gonna be nice. Thunder gets like no play. I tried, I really wanted to use like um, Rain with uh, Lantern. Just like, I feel like the game just doesn't want you to. All right, we got Surf. After this, we're going to get Hidden Power again. I do not have... Oh, no. I do not have Surf yet, so I cannot... Like, I, I have to beat Morty to Surf, so I have to do it this way. Gosh. Fumble like crazy there. Gotta stop fumbling. Stop fumbling. Okay, I dodged that guy. I didn't dodge him last time. Or wait, no. 
I did dodge him last time, but I almost didn't dodge him. I, like, stood in front of him for a moment. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Sometimes opening the bag to use that repel there feels more like an inconvenience, but then you get a wild encounter and it feels way worse. Like, half a second versus, like, three seconds. Versus, sorry. Everyone's always on my case for that. I say verse instead of versus. Don't know when I got that mixed up in my brain. Oh, don't talk to me about the Gen 4, uh, Gen 5 growth system. Why is it so bad? Why do they scale EXP? Scaling EXP is brutal for these challenges. That's going to be a nightmare when I get there. Let's go. Okay, no one there. And I didn't get any... Oh, no, that's Pokeball. <laughs> Don't do that. Fight this guy. What do rare candies taste like? That's a good question. I guess I... I don't really have anything good to hit these with. Aged power, I guess, is the best choice. Yeah, I got the boost. So Slowpoke is annoying now without a normal move. Oh, I can skip this guy that I ran into last time. I always thought of a rare candy as more like a... Ah! Uh... The pain. Yeah, I always thought they were like, yeah, like a Jolly Rancher or something like that. That's what I always thought. I sometimes say no to that guy accidentally. Careful. Also, one thing that I do always have in my mind with rare candies is the fact that when I was a kid uh, going trick-or-treating, they always gave out... Oh, what is this luck? Um, they always gave... Oh, are you kidding me? After all of that? Um, they always gave out uh, warheads, but really rarely. We would, like, out of all of us that would go out to get the warheads... Or to go to go get candy, there would be like two people that would get warheads, um, and I remember they always seemed so rare. So when I would find a rare candy in game, I was like, "Yeah, it's probably a warhead," which is like a sour candy on the outside, but then on the inside, it's sweet. One of my favorite candies. Let's go. Let's go. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! I loved foreheads the best. Yeah. Are they still around? Like, is that company still making them? I hope so. Such a good candy. I would hate it to be the case that I could never have another warhead in my life. Okay, Dennis. Easy sweep here. Or candy. Escape rope out. Teleport back. Heal. Ask ChatGPT how to improve in Pokemon. I actually asked ChatGPT how to do a solo playthrough of Yellow Version and uh, was not impressed. <laughs> I probably have to guide it along the way. Be like, what do I do on Route 1? And it'll be like, pick up this item. Like, okay. Okay, hopefully Mudslap here is really going to help. That's what I'm hoping for. Let's go. Let's go Mudslap. No reset here. No reset. Look at that. Ta-da! Okay, we did it. 
So we, we cut one reset now. Future Sight, no, I'm sorry. We are not doing that. Okay. By the way, I uh, I really like streaming Johto. I'm not a huge, like, the Johto videos are probably my least favorite videos to make behind the scenes. That's not saying much. I love all the videos. Um, they're, like, slightly less favorable. Um, just because the runs take a long time, and there's usually not that much to talk about. So it's, like, for amount of time spent playing the game, there's not a lot to talk about. Um... Yeah. But uh, I really like streaming Johto. Johto is very fun to stream because there's long portions where it's just not very entertaining. But during that time, I can talk with all of you fine people about Pokemon. And that makes the streaming experience really fun. Mintberry now. I probably am going to just one hit, but just in case. Scott really don't like that rock falling. Yeah. I do not. <laughs> You also like the seal video? No. Let's go. Okay, one hit the Gengar. Good. That is a 78% chance, by the way. I have the software up right now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. If I could skip this guy, that would be really nice. Sweet! Already fought him. I'm bad. Ah! I just like sat. I bumped into that thing like three times. Not great. Let's go, let's go! Got a Celebi on Pokemon Go. Nice. This is the right timing. It is. No! Come on! She's annoying to bump into because she has three Pokemon. Why Blaine look like a hiker in yellow? I don't know. Isn't, doesn't he have his own sprite? I thought he has his own sprite. These things have great special defense in these games. Imochan has slightly more physical defense, but still not near its special defense. Like, it has 51 physical defense and 68 special defense. It's kind of wild. Uh, maybe we'll max Ether here. Like Confusion. Okay. Knob is defeated. We'll also have to get uh, Art for Knob at some point. Everyone in this gym is going to have Art except this Black Belt. He's the manky guy. He's very sad. He's just not notable in any way, other than the fact that he has two Mankey and a Primeape. That's it. Knobart is on the list. Yes, good. He's got to be throwing rocks like Chuck. He has Rock Slide. Wait, why does Chuck throw a rock and Knob not? What? Knob should just be standing beside Chuck and throw the rock for him. Ha! Huh. Okay, that was easy. So, this fight was way faster than last time just because... Um, there was no, uh, confusion. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wait. I think I'm faster than last time by, like, a couple minutes. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. It feels like we're going fast. Pink bow is going to be very important for red, so we got to pick it up. Aw, oh, come on. Pink bow... Okay, time for the 
Did I run out of repel? Yeah, okay. Time for the PP up over here. After the escape ropes, didn't forget those. Perfection. It's three protein and four carbos when I get to the uh, when I get to the uh, department store later on. I got the nugget so that I can get those vitamins. And then we are going to go to the Lake of Rage. I'm going to fight the Gyarados. The Hardstone, I think. Let's do it! Yeah, I'm, I want to do a second playthrough of Scarlet and Violet, but I'm also like starting to think like maybe there is going to be too much text again, which is unfortunate. I want an option to like skip text in uh in modern Pokemon games. Can we just have that? Like I don't see why not. Yeah, I was roughly 30 minutes in the last playthrough after Chuck. That's what I remember. I remember 29 minutes coming out of his gym. Oh, the music has stopped. One second. Thank you for catching that. We have music again. Yeah, music has fainted. Don't worry. I always keep max revives. Let's go. Accepting my solo challenges because max revives aren't useful at all. This question is cruel. Hey Scott, if you could never play any Pokemon game ever again, what would you do? Other games? Um, probably not. I would probably... Honestly, I would probably want to like start a business. That would probably be what I would want to do. I don't know what I would do, but I want to help people. That would be what I would do. I was actually going to university before I got doing the channel. And after university, I was going to take like four or five months off and just think about like ways that I could like help people and then try and like start some kind of organization that would do that. But then everyone started watching these videos and I'm like, wow, seems like I'm actually helping people making Pokemon content. At least it makes people maybe smile once in a while. But then I was like, well, let's get really good at doing this and make people smile a bunch. Uh, plus, I'm obsessed with these games. It's very easy to just pour all the hours into it. Okay, let's not mess up here by failing to talk to this guy and get the password. Okay, we did it. We have successfully not messed that up. I'm just going to hold on to the protein. I can use it uh, when I get the other ones. No. I didn't fight this guy last time. Sorry if the question was me. No, no, it's okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. We're doing good. We're doing well, actually, sorry. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're studying at the Royal Academy in London. That's awesome. Maybe I'll talk about my instrument at some point in the future, but for now, I'm just gonna... Just not gonna mention it. I do play electric guitar a little bit, and uh, some piano. I'm like half decent. And by half decent, I mean like I can like play some chords and like make it sound like an instrument. Okay. You've helped me get back into Pokemon, whatever that's worth. That's worth something. Pokemon, it's great. So much fun. Let's do this. Ah. Oh. If only I had a better ground move.
Oh, solo Nuzlocke. I, I thought about that a lot. What Pokemon's best? If it's a hardcore Nuzlocke, that question is a lot harder. If it's not, it's like Pokemon that does a lot of damage. Should have, uh, they broke out. Oh, the cat is stirring. The cat is, the cat's on the move. I gotta pause. I gotta pause. No. Don't walk. No, this, this, right here? No, 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 go sleep over on the other side. Go sleep over there. Yeah, I know you're grumpy about it. Go sleep on the other side. No, no, no. No, no, go over there. Yeah, 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 go over there. Gonna be a disaster. Can everyone still hear me? Okay, good. Oh, he's jumping down now and he's making noise. Okay, the playthrough is safe. Let's continue. Yes! Skip that guy. Okay, good. Uh, we should be good. Let's go, let's go. Seal, my favorite Pokemon, as everyone will know. Uh, we'll just two-hit it. No speed drop. Sweet. Ancient power, maybe the boost? Yes, boost! Yeah! Yeah, catastrophe averted, you're right. Well... Bryce was, uh, he actually did damage this time. Well done. Omni Boost is so good. I love it. No! Uh, as soon as I made the input, I was like, that's a mistake. I'm going to run into the guy. Thought I timed it correctly and I was going to be at the top wall when I changed the input direction, but nope. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Someone's got to look back in the stream. What time did I defeat Jasmine at previously? What time was my Jasmine split? Uh, let's just go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Okay. Mod slap, please do it. Please, please, please. Four times damage. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I don't think I'm going to two hit. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to do. Oh, no, 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 no. That was a mistake. Uh, I'm going to win. I don't deserve it, but yes. Uh. Okay. Okay, we did it. Oh my gosh, I am doing so much better. What? What? Okay, we're doing so much better. This is going to be a great playthrough. Let's go, let's go. Oh. Three minutes ahead is huge. Yeah, zero resets would be awesome. We're probably going to reset once to red, though. Let's be real. Red is very good. I don't want to get my hopes up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do you prefer uh, gold, silver, crystal, or heart, gold, soul, silver? That's a tricky question. Um, I think I prefer gold, silver, crystal just because nostalgia. But I actually haven't played very much heart, gold, soul, silver. I played, like, maybe two playthroughs in total. I am really excited for when I get to start playing those games on the channel, which will be in a, in a bit. No, we don't want Baton Pass. Okay, let's do this, let's do this. This guy's gonna be easier now because I got Mud Slap. See, this is the thing about challenge runs. Sometimes you have a strategy and you're like, I think it's good, but then you make small adjustments, like saving Mud Slap and not deleting it. Uh, and then everything changes and everything just gets a little bit easier. Next Emerald video is Del Caddy, which is coming out this weekend. Then after that, we have some really fun ones. Really fun ones. Some erratic growth rate Pokemon and some fluctuating growth rate Pokemon and, the, and a slow growth rate Pokemon. It's going to be real fun. Mm. 
Okay, it's time for some water. There are going to be cat picks, don't worry. There's going to be a cat pick after I beat every major battle. Every boss, every like, uh, every elite four battle, not the, not the evil team leaders. Okay, that guy was easy this time. Yeah, I got, I got by that guy too. Sweet. Ah, pathing's not very good right now. Let's go, let's heal. Yeah, it's a stone evolution. It's only damage dealing move at the beginning is double slap. <laughs> uh, just think about Roxanne and then think about the fact that Del Caddy has double slap. Get excited about the video. I've heard that people like it when I suffer. Okay, this one shouldn't be that bad. I'm not going to use confusion on the Sneasel this time. That feels good. Oh, the cat is coming back up. Oh, he's so loud. He's so loud. Oh my gosh. And the next gym is fighting. I know, right? And then and then it's Watson. And Watson is always bad. And Flannery is like quite bad too. What's my rule on assist? Well, it doesn't get assist to start. It only gets assist if you're a skitty. It starts with Sing, Attract, Growl, and Double Slap, and that's all it gets. Until it gets TMs, and you have to defeat Roxanne to get TMs. So yeah, I didn't I didn't have to cross the rule on uh, assist quite yet. I, I don't know, what, what do you think I should do? I'm curious. Like, it would be fun to have for flavor, but in the same way, it feels like... Kind of like playing outside of the rules of my challenges, which are like... Yeah, so we're not getting cat picks? Yeah. Maybe not, if I don't beat Roxanne. Yeah, it's a really bad starting move set. I, uh, I used Confusion on that one last time and didn't one-hit, so... Make sure to use Ancient Power there. See, that's like a little... That tiny detail there is like something if I came back to do this run like five days from now, I would not remember. Like, I would just confusion the Magmar again, then go like, oh yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, see, like, doing an assist-only run might be fun. Like, that sounds so silly. Let's go. No, no, I like Meowskarada. I think Meowskarada is really cool. I'm not disappointed that it's bipedal. Struggle is technically normal, but it deals typeless damage. But it is a normal type move. Like, hidden power is a normal type move. Yeah, and Gen 1 struggle deals normal type damage, which is real bad for ghosts. Normalize is Gen 4. Struggle does not get stabbed. Three protein. Nope. Three protein. Where are the nuggets? Three protein, four calcium. Let's go. Oh, I probably should have healed. Let's do this. This is going well. No. Normal types do not get stab on hidden power. Stab, stab applies to the type of damage that is being dealt, not the moves type. So if the if the move is dealing fire type damage with hidden power, then it gets the same type attack bonus. But if it's dealing steel type damage, then it does not get the same type attack bonus, unless you are also a steel type.
No, that should have been confusion. Oh gosh, got paralyzed and then flinched twice. And then fully paralyzed and then flinched. Ugh, terrible. Absolutely awful fight. Don't forget radio. Yeah, thank you. The, forgetting the radio is like a run ender. You're just done. Why I pick up the full heals? Shouldn't have burnt the hyper potion at the red Gyarados, but oh well. Trident, yeah, enjoy the stream when you get back here. Okay, I did not use confusion on the Houndoom. We feel good about that. Uh, is there a fire steel type mon? Yeah, heat more, I think. Is that the only one? I think that's the only one. He, yeah, heat ran. Sorry, heat ran. No, heat more. Heat more is mono mono fire, isn't it? Uh, I don't need that, but okay. I meant heat. I meant heat more. Or, sorry, I meant heat ran. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Gosh, that was hard. That was as hard as seeing secret power and like um, sacred power and stuff when I was doing the ho stream. Messed that up so much. This is so I can skip the spinner who's north of there. That's why I do the water there. Someone asked that on the previous stream. Let's go. You have a green symbol? It means you were gifted a channel membership. Go and check out the exclusive Fire Red videos. Uh, there was some... There was... Um, Erratic was really generous earlier today and gifted 50, 50 channel memberships. Um, so a lot of you are... Um, yeah. I think that's what you're talking about at least. Probably. They're just on my channel. You can find them on my channel. There should be a playlist for them. Pretty sure everyone can see them, but you can only watch them if you're, like, subscribed on the channel. I really appreciate it for everyone who is subscribed and paying monthly because you allow me to pay my video editor, and uh, that's really, really, really helpful, just knowing those bills are covered month to month so that I don't have to, like, panic. All right, here we go. It's time for Claire. It should be fine. And I can pay soul for great artwork. That is true. It's great. Fallen Hero, thank you for the gifted, uh, the gifted membership. I appreciate it. You've also been very generous um, recently. go let's go okay here we go Woo. get get all this done yeah just so everyone knows 100% of the patreon and uh, and YouTube membership money goes towards paying people to help me it's not for my Lamborghini collection Okay, so we're just going to one-hit all of Claire's Pokemon, except the Kingdra. We'll knock it out with a couple of confusions, and then that'll be that. I guess, like... Oh, I confused it. That's sweet. I guess Hidden Power is actually doing more damage, but... Oh, it hit itself. Okay, nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah, ugh. Oh, oh. How do we donate to your Lamborghini collection then? Oh, that's funny. What does fund the Lamborghini collection? 
<laughs> uh... You see, I'm playing Celebi, so I'm time traveling from the future when I'm the richest person in the world. That's what I'm actually doing. Uh, where are we going? Oh, cool. Get through here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. On two. Got it. Having some water, one second. Um, <laughs> yeah, likes fund, likes and subscribes fund the Lamborghini collection. When, when we get to a, when we get to a hundred thousand subscribers, then I, I get my first Lamborghini. <laughs> That's how it works. I don't know if you, you knew that. YouTube has a Lamborghini clause in the contract, so I'm excited to get there. The, the play button that they give you is actually uh, keys for the car. Oh, I forgot to teach Dratini. Yeah. Yeah, that's a small time loss. That's fine. Oh, I forgot the Dratini all entirely. Bad. No. Bad, 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 bad. Get me through here. Come on. Do I have a repel? I don't know. Gosh. Awful when you do this. Very bad. Do not do this. Do not do this. Do not do this. Ah. <sighs> Well, we lost some time. That's okay. That's okay. I still think we're okay for time. We're like under 50 minutes and we beat Claire. So that's really good. Okay, here's the thing. If a Lamborghini right now, someone showed up and they're like, Lamborghini, and we take away four minutes of time from Celebi. No way I'm making that deal because we are going to get the best time with Celebi in this stream. Believe me. Oh my gosh, I got an encounter. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, we did it, we did it, we did it. Let's get out of here. By the way, I when I had my water, it splashed me in the face. <laughs> and my face just has a ton of water on it right now, but I'm so focused, and the water's getting really itchy. <laughs> so like, yeah, I should probably stop and just and take care of that situation, but no, 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 no. We gotta, we gotta do it. I'm focused. I'm in the zone. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, yes, I got to itch my nose during that. That was great. Oh, oh close there. Is my mic peaking a bit? Yeah, I've been having like some weird problems with it where it sounds like it's peaking, but it's not actually peaking, and I don't know what's going on, so I'm going to try and solve it. For whatever reason, it doesn't happen when I'm doing my Gen 1 streams, and then when I do Gen 2 streams, it happens, and my mic settings are exactly the same. Yeah, it just skips Solar Beam, exactly. And skip that lady, perfect. And skip this guy. Can't skip her because she's mandatory. We can skip the Max Elite. So we can skip the Max Elite. Oh, Max. I was saying like Ether and Elixir together. It doesn't work that way. Max Elixir. Oh, I can skip Earthquake. Remember when I got Earthquake last time? Just subbed on Twitch. Nice. Yeah, the videos are there on Twitch, too. Let's go. Okay, knock the Sneasel out. Next is Typhlosion, Ancient Power again. Oh, it survived. But Flame Wheel's not that good. Okay, uh, Golbat. Use Hidden Power Ice on this. Knock it out. Magneton, obviously Mud Slap. Well, we win anyways. We get paralyzed this time. Uh, confusion. Obviously confusion. Ancient power for this, for physical damage. By the way, what are the EVs? Uh, are the IVs? Well, they're DVs in Generation 2. Um, 
in this case, all of them are perfect except defense, which is 13. And that gives hidden power ice. Let's go. We'll... I went with hard stone last time and it went well, so we'll do that again. <laughs> How are you breaking through Koga's brick wall? Uh, I don't think he's gonna be a brick wall, but yeah. Let's go. Okay, so it looks like- Oh! No, 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 not like this, not like this, not like this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, that does more damage, that's funny. Um, maybe just hit- I should have just kept Never Melt Ice for this fight, probably. No Paris song. Not really a good option against this. That was the case last time. Curse, it's gonna be a four hit. Maybe a five hit now. Okay, four hit, good. Hidden Power Ice would've won it. Yeah, it did. It did when I switched to it. I'm sorry to those of you that are like, don't say switched. You're not switching. You're just using the move. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was something I uh, did a lot when I was first filming the video. So I'd be like, and then I switch into this thing. And it's like, no, 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 you don't. Who's better, Mew or Celebi? Probably Celebi. Mew is, like, good because it gets all the TMs, but... That's not very good at the beginning of the game, so you lose a lot of time early on. Uh, oh yeah, I four hit this thing with engine power last time. Ooh, did it. Muck. I should really get return here. Be grabbing return ASAP. Okay. Get return now, because, like, um, what's it called is not going to help me. Mudslap is not going to help me in this fight. I want return for the Umbreon. Uh, yeah. Earthquake is not as good in uh, in Generation 2 as it is in Generation 1. In Generation 1, Earthquake is really good, but in Generation 2, Earthquake is not actually that good. Also, Tamlin Lowell? Oh gosh, I am I definitely messed that up, I'm sorry. Anyways, welcome to Venonat. No problems here. Does Karen's Umbreon ever miss Sand Attack? I think so. I think it does. Yeah, it has a 75%, ch it has a 25% chance to miss. Um, that's a Gen 2 thing. All status moves the AI use have a uh, 70, uh, only a 75% chance to hit. Do I pink bow this one? No. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Karen, I should two hit the Umbreon with return. Sand attack. Frustrating, but fine. And then I should one hit everything else from this point on. Oh, I didn't save ancient powers. Lucky I didn't miss that one. That would have been bad. Aha! Did it! Gengar is so weird that it's weak to confusion, and like, it's a ghost type, and it's like supposed to be good against psychic types. Ah, why did they give it the poison type? Probably would have just been too good if it didn't have the poison type. That's probably what's going on there. Everyone, go watch uh, Big Yellow's video on the ghost type in competitive Gen One. It's really interesting. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna one hit this. Oh, but I get the Omni Boost. All right. Sweet! Well, th this fight is this fight is done now. There is uh, no way here that he can win. Shoutouts to Big Yellow. Yeah, their channel is so good, so good. 
It's all good. Okay. We did it. Okay, what? Okay, we beat the league under an hour. Oh my gosh, I, I just got chills. Oh my gosh, I gotta focus, I gotta focus. Yeah, what was my lance split last run? It was not this good. There's no way it was this boot, this good. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No! <laughs> nah, the doors! Uh. Okay, we're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. Psyduck is not a psychic type, so I can use confusion on it. It's so weird, right? I like Victini in Gen 5. Victini is pretty cute. I'm not a huge fan of the first three generations mythical Pokemon. I think I think I always like they bummed me out because I couldn't catch them in game. That always felt like um, not very fun. Last ship time was one. Okay, so we're doing pretty well. Games done quick. I would do games done quick. That'd be so much fun. I don't think I need this PP up, so I'm just going to skip it. Forgot Psychic again. Oh well. <laughs> Everyone's just like, wait, skipping Psychic? Like, yeah, no, 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 that, that was a mistake. <laughs> I'll get it next time. It's got to calm down, you have 20 minutes. I know, I know. But I want to get the best, like, it's like if I calm down now... Then what if I, like, slip and I, like, don't get, like, a sub-115 time? Like, imagine, imagine the sub-115 time. Like, I think my brain just explodes if that happens. Yeah, we'll use Giga Drain again, I think. Right? Does Giga Drain PP matter? No, I don't think so. No, hidden power. Yeah, Ho -Oh was one nineteen. What would you run it? GDQ? I don't know. I could prepare like five different Pokemon that all have similar times and then ask the crowd which one they want me to play on the day. And then it would be like this really like Oh, like, I can, uh... Like, it'll be hype because then they, they feel like they have some choice. Where it's like, I set, like, three different starters in, like, Pokemon Red and Blue. And then they get to pick which one I take. I do not have a second return TM. That is a problem. Please. No! I'm going to wait to teach Giga Drain. I don't think it's the right time yet. I think keep return. Giga Drain can go... Oh, Giga Drain can go over Hidden Power Ice later on. Is there any way to make speed up work with the console though, Scott? I don't know. Do they all play them on consoles? I guess they probably play them on consoles, which is probably why I couldn't do it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so Sabrina was a lot easier this time because I had return. Tends to only accept console submissions. Yeah, that's too bad. Then I, I'm uh, messing up here. Messing up bad. There we go. Um, then I wouldn't be able to do it. J-Rose doesn't use, uh, like, official hardware, though. Because he uses, like, the Retron. Which is not a Game Boy. I don't know if that's 
legit. If if it could like do it on the Retron, then like yeah, I could do it. I don't want to hit this guy. Anyways, we get we get Pokemon we get we get speed runs of these games every week anyways on my channel. Come on. It would be awesome if I ever get to be like a giant YouTuber, which I don't think is going to be the case, but if that ever happens, I would love to organize like a giant event and just like fly everyone in like all the players and just do like this huge like I don't know like tournament or something where it's like round one there's like 10 Pokemon and then like it, like one of them gets drawn out of a hat and then everyone plays that Pokemon and then like round two there's like 10 more Pokemon and, and it gets like drawn out of a hat and then everyone plays that Pokemon and it's like a huge race you get like commentators like uh Esports style. That'd be so much fun. To see the races live, like you could like bring up all the screens and like see who's in first place and like the different strategies and like talk through it. I think it would be fun. Okay, we have to go through the tunnel now. I forgot where I am. Okay, I remembered. Yes, did it. Okay. No, it's a different path. Because they made the map smaller. Do you think bug or grass would be the worst type in Gen 2? Oh, that's a hard question. Poison might be pretty bad too. I don't know, it's a it's harder for me to say. Like dark is also pretty bad because the Pokemon that are dark types are not good. Like they're just lucky they have Tyranitar to like kind of give them a good member. I think Bug is going to be pretty, like, middle middle of the range. Because I, I don't think Bug is going to have very many, like, outperformers. Like, Heracross, I did it before. It's not, not very good. Uh, it's going to do way better than I did with it before, but it's not as good as people think it is. It has no answer for the rivals Ghastly and Azalea Town. So it has to struggle. There are luckily no, like, really big threats for any individual typing. So, like, I'm not thinking of, like, the Sand Slash for electric types in yellow. Like, that's just brutal. Um, and Giovanni for electric types in yellow. Like, that's really bad. I can actually kind of see why they, like, the fact that they don't have a major trainer who is a ground, ground type user in this game really actually balances it out for most of the types. Which is one of the reasons why all the times in the tier list end up being so closely clustered together in Gen 2. Whereas in Gen 1, all the times are like very far apart, which I really like. Um, I can beat her with Psychic. I don't need a uh, Giga Drain. No. Oh yeah, I do have Fury Cutter for Heracross, but like... <laughs> Fury Cutter is not very good for that fight. No Lambo for Scott. He flies on. Exactly. Exactly. And if I need speed, I can just use an Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is like the sports car of Pokemon. You look at it, you're like, wow, that's really cool. It's also really fast. And 
it's also really bad. Sports cars are bad because they make a lot of noise. And every time I'm trying to record, as this guy gets his sports car out, makes so much noise with it. <laughs> and I have to sit here, do nothing, for like 30 minutes waiting for him to stop. <laughs> These are my frustrations as a YouTuber. <laughs> Yeah, who's dating Misty? I don't even know who that is. They never like they never like answer that question. Have you ever trained competitive Pokemon? I tried to make a couple teams, but then I just like the like the effort to train the team to then learn the format was always just way too much, so I never got into it. Okay, we're doing this. Only under an hour and ten. I just want to thank everyone for hanging out with me today and doing some Pokemon stuff. This has been so much fun. And we are on track for a really good performance here. No. Press B. Can I skip B drill guy? That'd be nice. did it. Took my time. Yeah. RC, no. Vileplume versus Blossom is not planned for this year. We gotta leave some stuff. Ah, sports cars also can't learn rock slide. Yes, that is a uh, that is a similarity between the sports car and uh, and Aerodactyl. Sports cars can, in fact, learn agility. I just like. No! Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Sports cars can also learn mud slap. <laughs> yeah, Gligar is sad. I'll heal here. Yeah, combining two defensive typings makes for, like, some of the worst Pokemon. <laughs> I'm glad they were- they gave Steelix ground instead of rock. I- I- am really excited to do another Steelix- Steelix playthrough. I suffered through it the first time. But another one will be good. I don't know if its results will be good, but it's, it's going to be a fine Pokemon. Sad Aggron, yeah. Let's go. It'll be easy, right? The Psychic is just better now. And I have enough PP that I'll be able to sweep Janine's team and then get back. Alright, this is going well. It's going really well. figured out that I can go that way. I used to always go around the top of the cave, but like, I don't know why I would do that. Or the, the island, I guess. <laughs> I've used uh, Thunderbolts on Steelix because you thought it was rock tip. Yeah, yeah. It Actually, I when I was first started making videos on this channel, I still thought that rock type was immune to electric. Just because of there are so many uh, rock ground pairings in uh, in Generation One. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! 
I love that we're 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 like basically figuring out the move set of a sports car now. The move pool. I'm one level higher. Let's go. Let's go. So I'm going to miss uh, 115. But we're still getting a really good time here. What's next after this? Arcanine. Hey, no burn this time. That's good. But a full restore. Stop full restoring, please. He's out. Okay. We got this. Okay, we're done. Oh, I can skip the rare candy and fight one wild Pokemon. Get level 70. Gonna be the fastest playthrough so far. Unless we get completely destroyed at red. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is my wild Pokemon. Yes. Okay, I learned those caves well enough. I can I've done them twice today. Let's do it. Here we go. Okay, Pikachu. Psychic. Then he's going to send in Charizard, and we're going to Ancient Power and hope for the roll. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, did it. Okay, Espeon. Return twice. This is it. This is it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Here we go. If you're watching at work, you might want to uh, mute it or something because I'm getting excited. <laughs> Okay, knock the Snorlax out. Yes, yes, yes. Psychic on the Venusaur. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yes, yes. We're going to get a 116 time. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. Yes. Yeah, crit. Okay. Boom. Oh my gosh. 116, 16. Zero resets at level 71. This took four hours and 57 minutes of game time. So, faster game time, less resets, same level, lower game time. Wow. Okay, um, Celebi's really good. I think that that's like what we figured out here. So let's go to the results. Um. This this playthrough here gets it the top slot. It gets it really close to 115. Um, thank you so much, Fallen Hero. I think that, like, if I play just a little bit better, like, I can obviously shave the minute off. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I think this is good enough to rank this little guy and give him the top spot. I do think that Ho-Oh could probably compete uh, the cat is so loud right now. I'm sorry. He's here. He's celebrating as well. He's like, wow, did you really get 116? Yes, I did. Hey, yeah. Um, 
I think that I could get a better time with ho -Oh, and I probably will do another playthrough with ho -Oh and Lugia at some point in the future, but I think that it was easier to get this time with Celebi than it was with ho -Oh. And that's mostly just because ho -Oh's growth rate. Like, Celebi is pretty good. The only thing that, like, this thing would be absolutely busted if it got Psychic at an earlier level. Like, imagine if I got Psybeam or Psychic somewhere during that playthrough. Like, this would be definitely sub-115. Alright, buddy. Are you ready to sign off? Here. Give everyone, uh, give everyone some noise. Now he's quiet. Okay, you'll all see the cat in the Del Caddy video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Uh, this was really fun. Um, I will see you this weekend, yeah, for the Del Caddy video. Thanks so much to everyone who supports me. It means the world. Thank you so much for all of the uh, donated memberships and uh, the super chats. Really appreciate it. If you made it this far, you're incredible. I'll see you in my next video.